Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Better Box Studios for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hensler. Here I am. I'm right here. Hey. Sitting right next to y'all already. The great Brian Red Band in studio. Hola. We have uh, Ryan J. Ebelt, the artist, already starting his drawing of tonight's episode. We're going to stream into him later and uh, see what he drew for tonight's amazing quarantine episode, as the last few have been, of Kill Tony. We're all filled up on delicious Vito's Pizza, thanks to mm. our boy Charlie, who's also with us live. He delivers the pizza. He hangs out. He's uh, right now considered uh, the number one Kill Tony fan in the world. <laughs> He's in studio. That's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's like exactly. <laughs> um, but we're happy to have you. I had the white pizza today. That's and, my favorite. That's and, my new favorite one. It's and great. the one that began with an F. What was that? Uh, Francis. The Francis. Oh, my God. I'm telling you guys. When... First of all, they're open now, so if you're in the L.A. area, get Vito's Pizza. Order from their multiple locations. Unbelievable white pizza. Normally, I'm the kind of guy that likes everything. Gino's having some right now. Amazing, right? Thumb, thumbs up. And he says the best. But when things get up and running again and you come to the comedy store to see Kill Tony live, of course, make sure on your trip that you swing by Vito's for a delicious pizza. Tell them that we sent you just so that they know. Uh, get a candle. The power went out a couple weeks ago, like I said, and I had to light some candles. I uh, had some damn good candle company candles. That's damngoodco.com. And uh, get yourself a candle. Handmade. Absolutely. Handmade. They smell amazing. And a lot of stuff's happening nowadays with this new quarantine. And I got to tell you, and I'm serious, all right? ExpressVPN has changed my life. Okay, we all know how they protect your privacy and security online, but there's something you might not know. You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, it's only a matter of time until you run out of stuff to watch on Netflix. So this whole week, I've been using ExpressVPN to binge The Last Dance, which has a special deal with ESPN um, to where it's on Netflix globally, but not in America. It's an unbelievable wow. documentary series. Makes you laugh, makes your eyes water, makes you giggle, laugh, cry, makes you do all that stuff. And so with ExpressVPN, I just switch my location to another country, and it's that simple. It's easy, it's fast. ExpressVPN... You know all about this, right, Brian? Yeah, I actually used it uh, last week also. Um, they have a, a thing called a TurboGrafx Mini. It's a, I'm nerding out right now. It wasn't released in the United States. It was pushed back to December, but it was released in Japan. I switched it using ExpressVPN to uh, Japanese Amazon, and I bought it on Amazon Japan, got it sent to me. It only took like four days. That was surprising. It's great because, see, ExpressVPN hides your IP address and lets you control where you are located. So they thought I was in Japan when I got it. But it's not just Netflix. It's just not Amazon. It works for streaming providers like Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, you name it. There are hundreds of VPNs out there. But the reason I use ExpressVPN is to watch Watch shows, it's ridiculously fl uh, fast. It's super fast. That's true. There's right. never any buffering or lag, and you can stream HD with no problem. It's also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. So you can watch what you want on a personal device or the big screen, wherever you are. And if you visit our special link right now at expressvpn.com slash killtony, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself with ExpressVPN. And again, no better time than during the quarantine Sorry. to have something like this, you know, when you are absorbing all of this content. So go to expressvpn.com slash killtony now. That's right. And another fun thing you can do is you can reset your ExpressVPN back to the United States of America. And you can go to my bookie. They keep you entertained, hooking you up with all your favorite games, blackjack, roulette, war, video poker, slots, all while you're out scavenging for toilet paper or quarantine at home. The excitement never stops with MyBookie. You got the itch? Scratch it with MyBookie's live casino dealers online. That's right. They have real dealers at their tables, live on the site 
These guys definitely do not mess around. At my bookie, you could even bet on politics. And if you're really bored, you could bet on the weather. They offer something for everyone. And always, when you win, you get paid quick. Put your skills to the test in their huge blackjack and slots tournaments with insane prize pools. In fact, if you're stuck at home right now, they've got this $10,000 blackjack tournament for you to sink your teeth into. It's free to enter and it pays cash if you win. It's free and it pays you real cash. How wow. crazy is that? Amazing. You can trust the industry leaders in times like these. They're reliable, they're upright, and best of all, they pay you fast when you win. It's where I play and where you should too. I got the hookup for you to do the smart thing. Go to mybookie.ag and they'll double your first deposit. Double! Use promo code KILLTONY to activate the offer. That's promo code KILLTONY. You spin, you win, you get paid. Hey, we are in it to win it. A bunch of dates rescheduled for Kill Tony and for my stand-up comedy. Places like Miami, Austin, Sacramento, San Francisco, Bakersfield, Tacoma, Washington, D.C., Salt Lake City. A bunch of places. Some of them are stand-up. Some of them are Kill Tony. Uh, those dates ranging from uh, September, uh, woo, the end of July all the way through November. And, uh, yeah. TonyHinchcliffe.com for tickets and stuff like that. Those will be up uh, soon if they're not up already at the city that I just mentioned. You go to the go to just Google it or something, and maybe they're already on their site. Um, yeah. So here we are. We're in it again. Another episode of Kill Tony. More of like a uh, obviously an examination of someone's writing rather than their performing since they're at home. Sometimes the videos are well-produced and fun, right? Sometimes it's just someone talking. Someone they're, Sometimes they're doing a lot of jokes at once. Sometimes they're barely trying. So let's get into it. But we do have a band, ladies and gentlemen. As always, the band commits to being different characters every episode of the show. We have no idea what they're going to be. They've been outside getting ready for the last 15 minutes. So let's all find out what they are together. It's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Jesse Johnson. Here we are. Uh oh. Whoa. Wow, we know these guys for sure. And we have a new young lady here joining us. My goodness, this is absolutely special. We have the great Salvatore, who we've had so many times. Salvador. Salvador. Salvador and the legend Jolina is here everybody. Hi Jolina. What's up, eh? What have you been doing during the quarantine? Uh, during the quarantine? I mean, I've been to prison a bunch of times. It's very similar, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, I fucking um I'm backing Donald Trump right now because I got my stimulus check and fuck, I'm fucking living it up, eh? So I'm ready to do, I'm ready to jack the duffel off anytime, eh? You're gonna jack it off Donald Trunk? Donald Trunk, eh? President Trunk, 2020, fool! Wow. Anybody that's giving me fucking money right now, shit. You got your 1200 bucks? Hell yeah, eh? I've Who's... been smoking weed, I've been fucking doing all that shit, eh? I didn't realize you had a mailbox. Yeah, I got a mailbox. I got a lady box. Oh. I'm keeping this Corona away right now. Whoa, like... whoa, you drinking Clorox? Oh my God, Jolina. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Straight out of a real Clorox. Whatever the president says, I'm going to do, eh? I really hope you rinse that out a bunch of times. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's powerful chemicals originally in that bottle. Hey, President Trump says to drink it. I'm going to fucking drink it. Ain't you okay. gave me money? I'm down, eh? President Trunk. How about you, Salvador? Uh, what, uh, what, what have you been doing during the quarantine? Such a gentleman. Things are good, but, you know, I play a lot of parties and stuff like that, so it's been cutting into my employment. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, uh, I'm, I still practice with my band, and uh, it's good times. Yeah, it, it seems as if though they've said that Mexicans are having a real problem with this pandemic because you guys can't stay away from one another. Yeah, I just live with a lot of people, so, you know. Right. Yeah. How many people do you live with? Fourteen. Fourteen people? Yeah. How many bedrooms? I want. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Fourteen people in one bedroom. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And that's, it's my, it's my mother is. You live with your mother still? I live in an orphanage still. Wow. I live in the orphanage I grew up in. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. So, one bedroom orphanage. I raised the niños to pay forward, you know? Right. Yeah. No, that yeah, this feels sexy, eh? Hey, whoa. I'm trying to get into Salvador's back door, if you know whoa. what I'm saying. Oh, you guys have worked together. 
many times. This is the first time we've heard Jolina express any sexual interest in you, Salvador. How does that make you feel? And we've traveled a lot together, and it's a little surprising that all of a sudden she has no eyes for me. Well, looks like there's going to be 15 people in that one bedroom. Hey. Shit, I'm fertile, eh? We're about to have fucking 30 babies, dog. You're fertile? I'm fertile, dog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And who's this young lady uh, here next to you guys? Is this your immigration officer? Uh, no, I am Shannon Perkins. I am the social worker assigned to Jolina's case. Oh. Uh, we are trying to keep Whatever, her children. Bitch. <laughs> Whoa, you guys seem to not get along so well. Well, I support Jolina. Sometimes I don't support her behavior, but I'm, think, here, I'm here for you. I think that's great. She's looking out for your better... She uh, said I can't blow weed in my baby's face anymore to make them take naps. Yeah, that's your babies will be taken away if you continue to do that. How many babies do you have, Jolina? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> you don't remember how many babies have come out of your vagina? Honestly, after five, it's all a blur. Man. The fucking, they just walk out at this point. Eh? Wow. Well, we're happy to have you, Shannon Perkins. Welcome to the show. So cool of an actual social worker to <laughs> drop everything that you're doing and uh, join the band from here on this wacky show, Kill Tony. With that said, you guys are going to be with us the whole episode. We got Red Band and his soundboard, the legendary uh, Mexican band featuring their social worker. We have Gage and Anthony in the booth at Strange Taste underscore and Gage Tiarina. Uh, Charlie, Gino, everybody's here. Let's get this show started with a minute of stand-up comedy of some type or writing or uh, performance of some kind. Let's see what happens here. Let's meet someone from around the world. This first comedian goes by the name of Chris Wacker. Here comes some music and then Chris. All right, here's Chris Wacker. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Wacker. Insert masturbation joke here. I'm aware that I look like I play all the Fortnite I'm also aware that I look like I'm going to try to get you to switch to T-Mobile. Being a whacker, you can expect to get bullied. And, uh, you know, I did. But look who's up here, out, out here, you know, talking about what a loser they are in front of everybody. Take that, Chad. There's a lot of successful whackers in my family. My grandpa was a, a military general. My uncle's a lawyer. My dad was a chief administrative officer at a large hospital. And I buy weed from a 15-year-old girl that I work with at a pizza place. Pretty sure we all accomplished our goals in life. It's my time. Thanks, guys. Peace out. There you go, exactly a minute from Chris Wacker. A lot was covered there. Look at all that cool shit. <laughs> Hi, Chris Wacker. How are you, my man? Hey, I'm all right. What's up, fellas and lady? It's great. You look fantastic. You're well lit. Hey, thanks, man. That is the, <laughs> that is the best lit parents' basement I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's shining off that golden, that golden patriot back there. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Where are you calling from? <laughs> Did you say? Where are, yeah, uh, Kansas. Even, Kansas. That's what I thought. I saw the yep. pizza shop t-shirt, and, and yep. I recognized yep. it immediately. You spent some time in Kansas before Salvador? Yeah, so I uh, I am a white man who was raised in Mexico. Oh. And um, I actually grew up in an orphanage in Mexico. That's where I got the accent from. And then I traveled to Kansas later on, uh -huh. and then I went to university there, and that's how I speak the English so well. Wow, you do speak <laughs> the English so well. That's incredible. So, uh... Chris, you're in Kansas. Uh, you ever tried the butcher block at pizza shop? Oh, let's talk pizza. Let's oh. talk Kansas pizza. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Man, before I started back at this place, I was craving it. And like my, one of my first days back at the restaurant, I was like, man, if I could get one of those fucking butcher blocks. like, it, And then it was like somebody didn't show up for their food. Now it's like fucking score. What's a butcher block? Uh, pizza? It's like a meat lover's pizza, only like more kingly. We've gone deeper into this Kansas pizza exclusive that everybody's been asking about. Is it is it true some of the pizza shops are closing? I don't. I haven't heard of any closing. We're ours are still open, and I know the there's another one near us that's still open. We're just doing curbside only, which is why I wanted to you know advertise. We're still open. We're still available. I want I want the place to stay open. You know. Yeah, me too. What do you do there? 
Uh, I make pizzas and I clean up and I do dishes and I listen to you guys on the podcast while I'm doing dishes. <laughs> I love that. Hell yeah. And how long have you been making pizzas for? Uh, I, this is actually the second time I've worked at Pizza Shop. Um, many years ago, like in my earlier 20s, I was um, I worked at a different location until it shut down. I worked there for like five and a half years, something like that. And then I worked somewhere else for another few years, like five years or something. And then I just came back recently because, like, I really like working there. It's fun. Heck, yeah. I used to make pizzas. You guys ever work at a pizza shop before? Yeah. I work at an Italian restaurant called Pisanos. You did? Uh -huh. What did you do there? I was a waiter. I run the cash register, but then it mysteriously burned down one day. Oh, were you there that day? <laughs> no, but I did close shop that night. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. I worked at a place called the uh, Italian Oven and we had to do like the hand tossing bullshit. Mm -hmm. I tried to do it the other day. I just, I'm not good at it. Did you do the hand tossing stuff? No, ours were already ours were already in the pan. They had uh, the boss was such a perfectionist that he would uh, pre-make all of the dough and oh, he had a way of keeping it just the way he wanted of uh, the fridges at the right temperature. He was an obsessed guy that would make the dough himself from like 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. Sounds like day. he was busting nuts and that shit. Eh? He didn't let you. Why would he, why would he do that? <laughs> just sounds like he's doing a lot of work when nobody's around. <laughs> Jolina, I'm gonna. We've been trying to get Jolina away from hand tossing. Oh yeah, that's. They true. don't let me near the knives, eh? So gonna... Chris, tell us more about your life there in uh, in Kansas. Other than making pizzas, what else do you got going on out there? Ah, uh, you want to hear some crazy stories? I've got stories. Yeah. Sure, tell us something interesting. All right, uh, I got kicked out of Christian school for talking about smoking weed with the other kids. Sick. Damn, you're bad. <laughs> Fuck. Got kicked out just for talking about it? Talking about it, yeah. How old were you? Uh, like 18, maybe. Wow. Wow. Christian school. You were still 18, so that was a high school, obviously, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how easy it is to get kicked out, guys. If you want to get out of the, your Christian school, just start talking about <laughs> weed. God. Well, they shouldn't call it high school. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> my senior year of high school we used to smoke pot beforehand yep. it was uh quite the good time is la verdad huh is la verdad what is la verdad is it true fool that you did that <laughs> is that what he's saying es yeah. la verdad. yes wow i still don't understand what he said es la verdad. so clearly there's a lot of nerdy shit going on there chris uh you uh don't have your posters framed shockingly enough which uh, normally <laughs> I would feel like you would. I feel like a guy like you would have frames, but uh, no, I got too much of it. No, I, right. I'm not gonna frame all of it. I got a ton of it. You have a little collector store there. I got um, a question. Mm -hmm. Sure. Are go you ahead. sad about this quarantine that you're gonna have to wait even longer to lose your virginity now, or? <laughs> I mean, just called you a virgin, sir. Is there any truth to the rumor I, that you are a virgin? No, it's not true. I know what I look like, and I guess I should. I could open up with that too. You know. Kind of look like that, but uh, no, no, I've I've, uh, I've I've been around a little bit. Anyone in your family <laughs> named Dick? Is there a Dick Whacker in your family? Perhaps a Jack Whacker? Richard Whacker. No, oh, I wish there was. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> is there a Weed Whacker? Jolina wants to know. That's a lot of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I, I like know, smoking you. weed, you know. <laughs> smoking weed in the Christian school. I don't know. You live with your parents still. No, this is my place. It's a one bedroom. It's a little cheap, cheap one bedroom. What's a, how much does a one bedroom run where you are? Right now, they keep raising it like every year, but right now it's like seven sixty or something like wow. that. Wow, so, see, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot for that lot. economy, for that place. That's just a lot. What's minimum minimum wage there? I uh, I uh, think it's like seven something. Yeah, that's something hell. Maybe. You live in hell. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> the Wi-Fi is incredible in hell, shockingly. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> what, what's the rarest thing that you own? I see that you have a lot of unopened, looks like the Punisher behind you or something like that. Uh, These condoms, they're in mint condition. <laughs> <laughs> Jolina. Uh, so uh, We're going to follow no, up. I'm not that type. I'm not that type of collector. This is like, uh, I smoke He's in a here. Bone collector. Like <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Love that. Have you ever no, committed like, a, I, I, have you, have you ever committed a crime before Chris? Oh yeah. Other that was one of the things I was going to talk about next. Yeah. Let's do it. 
uh, I have a. Uh, I got busted for an empty bag of uh, that used to have weed in it. Oh my god! <laughs> have I mentioned at all yet today that uh, you live in hell? <laughs> you make me want to yeah. beat up this TV screen right now, man. <laughs> Fuck, Jolina, you can't. Your social workers yeah. right there. This is like we're live PD. This is like half the episodes of live PD. Like, yeah, <laughs> you got busted for the it. Kansas laws are weird. We're going back to Kansas. We're getting reports right now that a man with an empty bag of weed has been uh, stopped. Tase him. Tase him. <laughs> wow. And Chris, I, did the cops show yeah, any mercy? Wait, wait, wait. They, were they no, nice was, to you? It was my fault. Yeah. They were nice, but it's because I was an idiot. I didn't understand my rights at the time, and so I, you know, they were just like, can we search you? I should have said why and no. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong because I was just walking back from a party. Uh, and Yeah, they stop you a like, lot if you're walking I, in Kansas. Or traveling. <laughs> I've heard that too, yeah. Did you say that you buy marijuana off of a 15-year-old girl? Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How old were you? Uh, uh, now. Uh, you mean now? Yeah. <laughs> or when I got in trouble. No, no. no. He, now. He buys it off a girl that's 15 Currently. Now. Currently. Your, yeah, your yeah, connect yeah. is a 15-year-old girl? <laughs> it's Kansas City. Man. <laughs> well, I, I sort of exaggerate it because I, I think it's funnier that way. But right. uh, I think she's 60 now. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> this, is like a, this is like an episode of To Catch a Predator. Uh, I, I just assumed that she was 16. To Catch a Redditor. <laughs> 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 Joelberg is hitting grand slams out of the park so far here today. Incredible. These would get massive chants in front of a live audience. I miss audience. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Wasn't it fun? This normal podcast life is peasantry. The studio life is feels like Kansas City in here. Feels, feels like, like right here. <laughs> well, I loved it. Uh, you got the party started for us, Chris. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, way to do it. Have you ever done stand-up comedy before on a stage? Five times. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, well, when things back, I, open back was, up again, get back out there again and yeah. uh, keep doing it. I was inspired by you guys. You taught me a lot about comedy, and I saw Jeremiah and Gage when they came to Kansas City, and I started doing open mics on that stage like a month or so after. I love that. A lot of greats come out of the, the pizza shops, man. David Deary, a pizza guy. Charlie, the pizza guy, even though he doesn't do stand-up. Still, funny guy, great guy. All of us used to work at a pizza shop. So uh, you have some I, great footsteps. Can I say thank you? Good. There he goes. Thank Chris Wacker, everyone. Here we go. On to the next yeah. one. Absolutely. So uh, that was fun. It's a way to get it started. Thanks to Chris. And uh, let's just keep it moving along. Your next comedian goes by the name of Jimmy Rector. There you go. Here comes Jimmy Rector. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you. Um, yeah, quarantine's been interesting. Um, dating has been very interesting. Um, I haven't been had very much luck online, so I'm going to go ahead and delete my account at uh, blackchristianfarmersonly.net. Just, just seems like everyone on there is the same person. And anyway... Because of that, you know, I've been feeling the same way about the Midwest, so I'm gonna go ahead and move out to LA, and I've been studying, you know, during this time. I went ahead and took this online course. Um, it was called Entourage, and I can't say I've really found out how to do any of the homework. Um, so it's kind of put me in a down mood, but then the other day I was like all depressed and feeling down during this quarantine, and I was like, you know what? Decaf coffee made it. Things aren't so bad. There you go, Jimmy. There we go, Jimmy Rector, everyone. Hi, Jimmy. What's up? Everything's good. I'm glad that you uh, 
sent in a set. That was fun. I've, I've always wondered what the bad guy from the movie The Matrix is up to nowadays. <laughs> Looking good, though, dude. Heck, yeah. You at uh, Where are you, where are you uh, phoning us in from? I live in Austin, Texas. Oh, beautiful nice. Austin, Texas. A great place. Yeah. How's the, uh, how's the quarantine treating you? They've been opening things up yet there? I hear that they are about to open it up. But I actually just got back. I spent most of the quarantine in Missouri um, at, in my parents' basement. Oh. They don't have internet. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. That sounds like hell. Wow. <laughs> so what did you do to pass the time there? Did you look at any porno magazines? <laughs> uh, VHS mostly, no. Um, yeah. I actually decided I'm really like dedicating myself to writing, so I actually – sat down and I wrote an entire script and I also wrote a TV show and produced and made the TV show and put it up on YouTube. Five wow. episodes of it. So what, what's it called? Yeah. That's, it's called life is a trip. Life is a trip. It's actually, yeah. It's like when I was in my parents' basement, I was like, this is not really going to be anything. You know, I just made it with my, with my phone and my iPad. And then I was like, this is kind of becoming like this bigger thing. And I was like, it's not just an ordinary big deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, so if you go to super duper big deal.com, you can actually see it all. Is that, that's incredible. <laughs> super, super, super it's, duper. Yeah, it's duper spelled D U P E R. Yes. Gage, yes. can we look yes. at it? Can you uh, pull it up or? I feel like it's just going to be a pi picture of that giant black guy with his huge cock out yeah. when you get on the website. Pull it up, eh? Have you seen this guy, Jolina? Seen him. I know him. How, do, how do you know him? He's my baby daddy's third kid. Hey, look at that. That's, that's a hey, nice little up? logo there. Hey, what's up? What's up? Look, look at that. That looks what's incredible. Up? Yeah, so thanks. So I do, I do branding and websites too, but I just – I literally did – everything with my phone and my ipad and i was like if anybody says they can't do shit during quarantine like no uh, doubt now's the perfect I, time to do all this kind of stuff yeah so, so i was like because what happened was i work in the entertainment industry and mostly in the music side right uh -huh. and so every single gig i had got canceled we were throwing a festival in florida and it was what like everything was leading up to and then all my gigs for the next six months got canceled. I just had this time and I was like, what feels the most like I should do? That's How many different actors or actresses are in it? Just you? Just me. You play multiple I people? Did, I mean, if, if you guys go to super duper big deal dot com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see that then, it's just you. Then we can read the bio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. How yeah, much man. is this apartment no. that you're in? How much do you pay for this apartment? Uh, it's a two bedroom, but together I think it's like twenty seven hundred. And how much did you pay for the domain name super duper big deal dot com? Uh, I think it was a dollar for the first year. Uh, yeah. How many great. Big Macs is oh never mind. That's a lot of Big Macs. <laughs> One Big Mac. They fucking a patty with sauce, that's it. I love that. So you have a roommate now in your current living situation? Yep. How long have you two known each other? Uh, I would say three years, I think. We met at a mastermind group in Florida doing some nerd business shit. And What's a mastermind group? It is, it's kind of like where, you know how you don't want to spend your time with people that waste a lot of time and don't really like yeah. want to progress their life in any way? This yeah, is just for people sure. that, it's like a tiny group of those people that actually really want to do shit and helped me a lot build my business. And now I'm just putting all the business stuff I learned and all the branding stuff I learned into comedy and focusing as hard as I can. Wow. Is there a condensed version of what you just said at super duper big deal dot com? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, clip <laughs> notes and all. I love that you set goals and they paid off. Jolina, what Shut do you up, think bitch. about that? Okay, well, I support you, but not that language. I like your, I love your dynamic personality. Oh, that's the great. Social worker Thanks. and Jolina are going at it. 
Oh, that was good. That was progress for her, wasn't it? It was. Let's all give Jolene a a moment. Good job, Jolene. I don't know what progress you're talking about. (laughs) Progress accomplished. And we can thank Donald Trump. It's a metal band. Shout out to Donald Trump. Metal band of dinosaurs. Trump 2020. Okay, Jimmy Rector, do you have any other than writing and uh, making things? Do you have any other special skills or talents? You look like you've done a couple magic tricks in your days. <laughs> you look like uh, if you put sure. a if uh, you wear a COVID mask, does everybody think you're a doctor? You look like a doctor from the yes. nose up. You look like an owl. <laughs> oh yeah, totally, totally. I got my four hundred one nine K or whatever too. It's locked oh, away, yeah. loaded. How about any yeah. other uh, special skills or talents from you? Anything else that would surprise us? Um, I used to make drums, and I also used to, or I still make art for Carlos Santana. Wow, that is so cool. You guys are big fans of Carlos Santana, right? (laughs) I just came in my pants right now. Uh Uh-oh, looks like you said one of the seven keywords. Okay. Who did you make I'm drums sure. for? Sure Carlos is sitting there very um, proud. This, I mean, we got it. <laughs> I'll, um, it's, my life's been crazy. That's why oh, Never mind. It's not Ludwig. Sure. Who cares? Moving on. Do you play oh, drums? It was do you in play, Chicago. Do you play drums, Jimmy? I, I didn't think you would ask that. But yes. You really do? <laughs> Do you have a drum set where where you are? Yeah, it is. It is true. The squeaking of the chair really did take all the excitement out of that moment. Is this is this what's happening? Do you have a drum set? I have one that I made in my closet. Okay. What's happening? I'm confused right now. Show us your drums. Everybody, relax. Hold on. Let's figure out what's going on. You have a you have a drum set there. Do you really? Really? Mm-hmm. Let me see I it. I made it. To, yeah. All right. He made All it. Right. Get the fuck out of <laughs> he here. He shows us a picture of his butt. Hole. No fucking way. <laughs> I made it. I made the drums. This is it. This is this the is, moment. This is where he shows his ass. This could be our first. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is where we get. He came out like Buffalo Bill. With his oh, oh yeah. my God. That looks nice. That's, nice. That's a pretty drum, man. For an ugly man. Oh, come on. Be <laughs> nice to this guy. The first part was great. He's a good guy. He's got Wait, one is he drum. setting up his whole drum set? Right I now? hope so. <laughs> I, I truly hope oh, so. Oh, wow. I also have a drum set. Big deal. This cool. guy's a fucking... I'm telling you right now, this guy's a fucking winner. Look how organized he is. Yeah. This guy's got storyboards out. He's got a Sharpie, a different <laughs> Sharpie, an eraser, an iPad. He's got index cards. This guy's got ideas. He's got in his trunk. He's got his own room. He's got all this stuff going for him. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's like a this table is... you do a bake sale on right there, man. <laughs> in defense of my client, he could be a little faster. That's right. This is incredibly exciting. This is going to be the first and so far only Mexican drum off in a quarantine. Coming up here. So. What if he's like, I said I made drums. I didn't say I played them. <laughs> well, he said both. I actually asked him both. And uh, he said yes to both. I declined. <laughs> no, you can't decline. This is, you got to be like Donald Trunk and win this thing. Go to my bookie right now and bet to see if this guy will beat Jolene. You Jolina. have plenty of time. Uh. This is exciting stuff, guys. This is a lot of people love this segment. A lot of people hate it, but uh, I think the beer is, is kicking you. in right now. I yeah. lost the audio. I can't hear you guys, but oh, we can't see you. It. Yeah, we. Can, can you hear us now? The, the the only Frame thing it. that would suck right now is if he set this up and everything, and <laughs> this is the framing, and <laughs> we I don't Let get to play. explain the rules. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, well, okay. A lot of build up there. <laughs> Was that Michael Lair? Man, that could have gone <laughs> a thousand times better, well, perhaps. That was uh I that was it. Uh, you 
Can you hear us? Audio cut out. You're like the drumming equivalent of a PE right. teacher. <laughs> you couldn't do so you built. <laughs> Can you hear us now? Oh, nope. Right. Off, there on. he goes. Jimmy Rector, everyone. Go to superbigdeal.com at some point in your life and uh, check out his show. We love you, Jimmy. Thank you. I'm still confused why he moved the camera like that and didn't even show his drums. I think he got a little bit excited there. And, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't used to this kind of pressure. They're not used to being on a show like this. They, he lost his audio. He reset the camera to a weird position. It's natural for someone that I think isn't used to a show like this. However, there are some people that are very used to a show like this. One of them is one of the very famous regulars of the show. Here he is, joining us live, the one and the only, the great William Montgomery. Here he is, William. Are you guys going to play? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, here he is, William song? Montgomery, everyone. William. How's it going? I'm still running for county alderman. Um, I'd like to go over some policies. Uh I saw the movie Tokyo Drift, and I can promise you one thing. If I'm elected county alderman, there will be no Tokyo Drifting on our streets. <laughs> I saw the movie Poltergeist recently, and I can sure as hell tell you one thing. If I'm elected county alderman, we're going to be making sure none of our subdivisions in this community are built on top of Indian burial grounds. I'm sick and tired of coming back to my home at night just wondering for hours before I walk inside. If I'm the one that turned that light on, that was probably my best policy. It scares me. Y'all aren't laughing. Um, uh, can we make pool toys a little less dangerous, please? They're meant for floating, not breaking your neck. Uh, if we're on the topic of kids' movies that need to be banned from elementary school, let's bring Lion King into the dialogue. I'm sick and tired of staying up, hoping Scar doesn't make his appearance on screen, but he does every time. There he is, William Montgomery. There's the body of William Montgomery. with a, he's Still an open wound on his belly. Um, it's getting better. No, We've been not. studying this open wound it's for a long worse. time. There is a different hair there. there. What's that hair that's in the middle there? Keep it's a open. beard hair. Oh, yeah, wow. Right. That is a loose hair. We just found <laughs> a loose, thick black hair that is someone else's hair. <laughs> that was in the middle of your belly right next to your open wound, William. Hello, love. It actually, y'all are in for a treat. My, uh, my head of uh, security is actually in town tonight. Uh, for my alderman thing, Oren, do you want to come in the picture a little bit? Turn your phone around. I don't know how to turn it around. Just around. just move Jesus. it. <laughs> Here, come behind me, Oren. We also found out today yeah, he doesn't know how to save photos from the internet. Oh, wow. Wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Who is this? It is my buddy, Oren. He's my head of security. That might have been uh, his hair on my belly. I don't know if it was or not. but it's not we're, right here, William. But we're we're serious. <laughs> I, we both think coronavirus is a sham, don't you, Warren? Yeah, it's a super sham. It's a way super made, sham. Made up. It's a gang nightmare, gang. gang gang. Wow. Get out of here. Yeah. God, William, you're gonna have to change your name to Crit Van Winkle. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I love that. So where did you where did you oh, meet this guy? We watched dishes together. We actually, yeah, we watched dishes <laughs> together in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> we are. Who is who had that fucking bitch cackle in the back? I know, right? Those are the producers in, in a, the back. In a soundproof what room. What faggot was that? My God, William, I love this new look. Are you auditioning for a role in Beer and Groaning in Las Vegas? <laughs> Beer and Groaning, uh, the new Beer and uh, Anaconda movie. The new Anaconda movie with J-Lo. I have never seen anything quite as white as you right now. I've, you've never been whiter, and I, I've also never seen you hang out with a black guy before. Uh, David Lucas. What about David Lucas? What about David Lucas? 
Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> forgot but I mean, what? like, that's like for show. I didn't know that in your spare time you were hanging out with these types of people. It is for show. I'm glad you brought that up. I He gives me the creeps. I don't like David Lucas. I'm Are you glad. talking about the hit song from TLC, Creep? Yes. Right after uh, the Waterfall song. Um, yeah, who's playing every song? Who's messing that up? <laughs> Drink your bleach, Jolina. Uh... Fucking awesome. So what else has how, been going how on? Are, how are y'all doing? I've missed y'all. What's going on? We're great, man. We're absolutely great. What uh, what county are you running for the Ald alderman for? Uh, Davidson County. Where's that? Uh, it's outside of Nashville. So why would you run for county alderman of a place in Tennessee when you live in Los Angeles? It is a it's a logistical nightmare. It's a it's a deal I don't even really understand. Um, but I'm here. I'm I'm I've been dealing with it through the quarantine. Can I tell here? Do you want to hear my best one? Can I tell you that everything that you do is funnier with a thuggish black man over your shoulder? <laughs> oh, he's really it black. Is good come back. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out. They do that. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you what's your, what's your new best, best joke? Policies? Let's hear it, this William. This is a policy. It's a pretty good one. Uh, if we're talking about episodes of The Twilight Zone, can someone please get me out of the one where I get on an airplane only to find out there's a fucking hairy monster on the wing of the plane that I'm flying on? Let's allocate some money to do some studies on these types of terrorists flying on the wings of our planes. I'm sick and tired of opening and shutting the window to the plane I'm flying on, only to have a hairy monster on the fucking wing of the plane. Every time I open the window, I'm sorry, I wrote all this earlier. <laughs> I thought it was going to go really good. Um, it's I like the tag on the joke when the black guy in the background went like this. Yeah, that was the funniest yeah. thing. Yeah. He, he, he used the wrong finger, though. I think he meant to do this. <laughs> Oren, let's do another one. If we're, if we're still on the topic of practical jokes, am I the only one who's sick and tired of testing out binoculars at the local sporting goods store only to find out some school-age kid put shoe polish on the fucking eye holes? I'm tired of testing out my binoculars on a Saturday afternoon only to find a couple of terrorists putting shoe polish on the binoculars. It's like I'm living out one of my nightmares. Or and do something. Have you been doing stuff? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Perfect. Man, this is incredible. I love this new duo of you and Oren. Is there any chance of him replacing David Lucas on Brothers in Cursive? Yeah, I hope David's uh, <laughs> bad ass isn't watching right now. I'm sure he's not. But yeah, I think it's uh, going to be uh, me, you, and Oren, uh, Red Band, on, uh, on Wednesday. Are you cool with that? I know you don't really like blacks, but are you cool with... Uh, <laughs> You cool with that? I mean, did you buy a face mask yet? Because uh, we had to cancel last week's episode because you didn't have a face mask. You still Darn don't own a face mask. pussies. Don't tell me that. I've had a hard fucking week. Don't tell me that. What's been so hard about your week? Why is your week been so movie, hard? I watched the movie The Fly the other night. When that fly got in the container with that actor and the actor started turning into a fly, I hated it. Or I hated it. <laughs> It was a Just, nightmare situation. You're talking yeah, about it's been a hard week. You're talking about the great Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, hell of a picture with Jeff Goldblum. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. Heck really yeah. good. Thumbs up. Really Look at that. Good. We got a thumbs up thumbs from up. Oren. So, what are you and Oren's plans for the rest of the night? Are you gonna film a video of him having sex with your girlfriend, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> He, he ran away again. <laughs> it's like you brought that time, up. Man. Yeah, you, that's awkward now. It's a little awkward now. They just met. It's a little. Is that awkward. why you? Is that why you're wearing those glasses so that it looks like a white? <laughs> so, so that it looks like Correct. a white guy yes. is having sex. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool maybe it, it is. I love yeah, it. Cool it down. Hey, I love it. William, you're outside right now, right? Yes, I am. Do your neighbors ever hear you talking about like, like this stuff that you say, like people not liking blacks and stuff like that? 
yeah, I actually got in trouble with her grandparents a couple nights ago. I was out here on Instagram Live at five in the morning, and it mm. uh, bothered her grandmother. So I think I'm about to get kicked out of here. I don't know where the fuck I'm going to go. That's why I've been on edge. Well, you know what they say. If there's any chance of you getting kicked out of your girlfriend's grandparents' place during a quarantine, nothing better to do than invite over your black friend, Oren. Yeah. All right, William. We love you. We'll see you next time. The great William right. Montgomery, everybody. There he goes. On to the next one. I think he forgot that he has a house. What? He has his own apartment. Yeah. And he just forgets that he has that, I think. Uh, I think, you know, if people are, you know, alone, if they live alone or if they have a weird living situation and a girlfriend, I think a lot of people are quarantining together right now. That appears to be what he's doing. Oren, with his mask on, unlike the hit rapper Future, who indeed says, take your mask off. Oren keeps it on. Thank you for Oren for joining William during that. William, of course, is William.F.Montgomery1 on Instagram. Let's keep it moving along. Your next comedian or someone trying to do comedy goes by the name of Julian Liber. Julian. Here comes Julian Liber, everyone. So my girlfriend keeps telling me I look like I have daddy issues, but that's only because my dad left me and my mom for his secretary when I was six, okay? Anyways, what's the protocol for when you randomly stumble upon the naked pictures of a girl you've had sex with? And it says escort right there, next to her actual name, and you kind of went raw dog on her? Well, after getting tested, you take a look at the other pictures and try to determine if she just recycled some old photos and sent them your way, or if your dick was actually worth posing for. Mine wasn't, but I can't imagine my skills at 16 were up to the standards of a 28-year-old potential hooker, right? This is already all kinds of fucked up. And then I see another gallery, provided by the same uploader, and I immediately, like that, recognize the name and tattoo of my dad's former secretary. And I have so many questions. Is this some kind of unholy dick triangle, where some random guy railed both my dad's and my sloppy seconds? Did my dad and I bang the same chick and he's just way deep into revenge porn now or was hiring a prostitute just simply his way of showing me he cared? I guess I'll never know, but it doesn't matter. Had sex. Beautiful. Julian Liber. Hey, guys. There it is. All right, Julian, welcome uh, to the show. Where are you calling us from? I'm from Manova, Germany. Wow, look at that. Germany, our first uh, true German on the show. How exciting is this? How are you, man? How sour things in Germany? Uh, you know, I guess it's the same story everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. Must be weird for you uh, being stuck in Germany after uh, being the star of Don't Fuck With Cats on Netflix. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's about you. You should watch it. It's a long documentary okay. about it. People you. in Germany are used to like hiding out, though, right? Like under floorboards or like inside of little closets. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, what part of Germany again? Uh, Hanover. Oh, okay. It's pretty Hanover. central. Hanover. Mean Hanover right now, eh? <laughs> you have a what? I have a mean Hanover. Fool, I was drinking last night. I'm oh. I'm Hanover. You're you're Hanover from I'm Hanover fool <laughs> from okay, wow. Uh, what's Hanover known for? Like a sausage or something, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's known for anything. It's um, the capital of the borough, I guess. But it's not that oh. big of a city. Okay. Known for killing Jews. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what we think about the Germans continuously. We'll never let you. You guys have a long time until you're off the hook for that one. I know. I've seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So were your uh, parents or grandparents involved in World War II at any point? I think my grandfather was uh, in the army, but I don't think he was a Nazi. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think so, at least. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure he fought for the American side on that war from Germany. Sure. 
That's incredible. Have you ever talked with your grandfather about it? Oh, I have. Uh, I haven't met any of my fathers. Oh, that's right. I... You're, that's on your yeah. dad's side. Oh, both of them. Both of them died before I was even born. Oh, okay. Yes. Can, can you say a phrase for us that I think would be entertaining? Yeah, say it. No, I swear. Das ist mir I... was. No, I swear, I love Jews. Oh, I do. Sure, I love Jews. Wow, look at that. Who doesn't? Wow, that was everything I <laughs> hoped it would be. <laughs> Incredible. So uh, this... Tony, I'm worried about Jolina. She keeps licking the outside of the cup. I think she got the two-for-one Micheladas at Dodger Stadium. Oh, my goodness. So uh, this girl that was uh, that you had sex with that you found on the internet was this like a one night stand or something like that? Uh, I wish it was. No. You hung uh, out for what a few months? Not. Tell tell us about this relationship. Yeah, maybe maybe for a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, some some a few weeks. And the whole thing, uh, how I got to meet her, was kind of crazy in the first place. Go ahead. Uh, I'm. I met her at a festival, a festival, and I thought she was a friend of a couple of friends of mine. Um, but no, she just uh, she just hung around, uh, got to the house party with us, and uh, she, yeah, she. I think she was grooming me. <laughs> you think she was what? Grooming me. <laughs> oh, grooming you? Yes, absolutely. And uh, so what ended up happening there? What type of sexual activities did you guys do? We know the Germans are into some wacky shit over there. Did she piss on you, poop on you? What happened? Poop in that pussy? <laughs> there you go. There's Red Band's uh, approach. Did you poop in that pussy? That no need to hot, answer that. A hot pocket or something. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, did I you... think it was pretty vanilla. Yeah. Really? Vanilla? Something special there. Yeah, I was, I was 16, man. Oh, a long time ago. You Germans always saying, oh, that was a long time ago. I don't remember. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> you guys are famous for that. Nothing exciting sexually, though? She, this seems like you hooked up with a hooker. And was she, was she, wait, how old was she during this? 28. Wow. Wait, look is at that you. illegal in German? Germany? Germany, no. Uh, they no. Get... <laughs> No, they get their soldiers out on the ground early out there in Germany. That's the wow. fucking... You were just a little Hitler youth in there. <laughs> running a... Uh, running. Yeah. You, usually when Germans run a train on someone, it doesn't end up that well for them, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do for work, Julian? Uh, I'm a student. What are you studying? Uh, I study English and history. I was going to say, your English is absolutely incredible. Are you the only one in your family that can speak it, or is that a pretty German thing to know English? Oh, I think it's a pretty German thing. Yeah. We learn it in elementary school. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. You just said, yeah. uh, you know, all Germans basically, in one way or another, speak English. Uh, England, people speak English. Americans speak English. Uh, what do you think Hitler would say if he knew that none of us speak German, however, all the Germans speak English? What do you think? That, how do you think that would make him feel? Wow, this went in a certain direction, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he would be too pleased. <laughs> <laughs> this went a certain direction. That's what he said, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Anything else crazy about your life we should know about, Julian? You ever do stand-up comedy before? Oh, no, this was kind of my first time. Oh, that's awesome. If you can count it as my first time. Sort of. You can sort, sort of count of, it. Yeah. I'd say so. Do they have comedy clubs near where you live, or do they ever do anything like that, an open mic or anything? No, not at all. When I discovered Kill Tony, that was my first uh, reaction to look that up, but wow. sadly no. What, what program but, do you have open on your computer? Oh, that's uh, Cubase. What does that do? I, I, Jubis. Uh, you write. Jubis. Yeah, you write and record music with it. That's what I thought uh, because I noticed the audio monitor. Do you make beats and different things like that? Yeah, yeah. This is a German uh, guy. You make some. Project, e yeah. You make German EDM music, right? <laughs> no, I do um, electro metal. In my Can we hear some of it? And... Can you turn play some of it? Turn it up sure. for us. 
Yeah, sure. let's hear some. I'd We're going to hear some real German experimental music here from Julian Leiber. Here we go. Look at that. He's got a little German guitar. Can you hear that? No. No? No. Oh, that's Nine. too bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Nine. Oh, nice one. Um, how about this? Yep. No? Yeah. No, we can, yeah, we can hear it. Yeah, we can hear it. Okay. See. Oh shit. Fuck yeah. Wow. This is like German piss porn music. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Oh, thank My you God. so much. My God. If we're, next time we're I in Germany, you're going to have to join the band. Is that okay with you guys? Can oh, Julian? Uh, oh, absolutely. absolutely. The next time we're in Germany, we would love to have you. There you go. You're going to be in the band next time we're in Germany. So How about much. that, Julian? Uh, thank you so much. I hope you come to Germany. I hope I hope Anytime. that we're allowed to come at some point. Hopefully airplanes and travel and audiences become a thing again. And uh, you can hold me to it that when I announce that German date, you figure out a way to uh, contact me, take the proper uh, approach, and uh, we will make sure that you're in the band that night. Thank you so much. <laughs> There you go, Julian Liber, everyone. Follow him at Liber Music, L-I-B-E-R-M-U-S-I-K. Liber Music. There you go. Absolutely. Okay, your next comedian goes by the name of Thea Thyssen. Let's meet someone else. Here comes Thea Thyssen after some music. <laughs> Here's a Thea Thyssen. It works better when you have me in the music no, no, after you're done talking. Stop it. No, that's how it, it works, works better the way I want to do it. Here's no, it's always sloppy when you're like, and now the music. We're not ready when you say, and now the music. I know. Let's play the music. So, and it, and so if I And I say, will lean into the, you're doing the intro. And don't music. wait for me. Just play the music. I love Just that you Just don't wait guys. or else there's going to be nothing there. Don't, don't play the music again. No, no. Well, here you no, go. I wasn't ready. Here you go. Here's Thea Thyssen, everyone. Hey, guys. I'm off work because of the pandemic, which is really exciting. I usually never get time off work because I have the strongest immune system. So, of course, I never get the flu shot either because it's not like you can call in autistic to work. Dial it up the next day like, hey, sorry, not going to make it in today. I got vaccinated last night and I'm having trouble reading social cues now. I think the most surprising side effect of the quarantine is how quickly everybody got so horny. Like I'm on Twitter trying to distract myself from how horny I am and every other tweet is like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fuck my couch. Keeps looking at me like that. You know what they say, more cushion for the pushing. I did something kind of desperate. I posted a picture of my bare ass to Twitter. Scandalous, especially because my dad follows me. He wasn't too happy. He called me up like, what are you, some kind of hooker or a cam girl now? And I was like, no, dad, of course not. Just like the US government, I'm giving that stimulus away for free. Boom, Thea Thyssen, real jokes. There you go. There was some music from the band. And here we are with Thea Thyssen, everyone. Hi, Thea. Hi, guys. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm really good. I'm so excited to be on the show. I love it. We're happy to have you. That was some fun stuff you talked about there. Where are you at right now? I'm in Toronto, Canada. Ooh, Toronto. The birthplace of so many great comedians. So many horrible comedians, too, but... Also some great. <laughs> Thea, like Thea, have you ever done stand-up before? Yeah, yeah, about a year. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. What do you do for work? Um, I work in fine art shipping. Ooh la la. Heck yeah. We just got mm -hmm. off the line with a German guy. They famously 
stole upwards of a billion dollars worth of fine art from the French at one point during World War II. I don't know if everybody knows about that, but a lot of them taking over France was about them stealing their art. He was a gas. There you go. That's, that was, that was, I have a lot of names with that, actually, but I can't really talk about my work too much on stage, unfortunately, because... No. A bit confidential. Of course, absolutely. That's a that's a good way to keep it. Fine you work for Banksy or what? We have worked for Banksy. Yeah, we installed one of his Toronto exhibitions a couple years a ago. A funny one is true, I guess. But... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you under the frame of a bed right now? <laughs> yeah, what's with the mosquito nets? Eh? <laughs> right. I didn't realize they had a malaria outbreak in Toronto. Are you calling from inside of a yeah. pillow? <laughs> <laughs> Those are just my curtains. I love it. You live by yourself? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. So you mentioned uh, getting horny during the quarantine. Uh, what have you done to satisfy that hunger? Uh, all you can do. A lot of alone time and masturbation wow when you say alone time what do you mean by that just just alone time or is that a special name for something well Tony, it's a quarantine so oh right yes that i don't know why i even asked that question that was a stupid <laughs> question on my part you're right alone time in a quarantine <laughs> makes complete sense so is your has your work ended because of this or are you still shipping things uh, it has, it has ended. I'm back on payroll as of today. It's been a really nice month off, but, um, yeah, I'll be starting to do a few things as the borders open up. It'll get easier too. Right. Shipping. That's crazy. Uh, we just got off the line with a German guy and they're known for shipping on one another <laughs> during sex. <laughs> <laughs> they sh take, a I gotta ship. take a ship right now. <laughs> I still got to drop a fark. Uh, Thea, um, you, uh, so you're currently single there in uh, Toronto, I'm guessing? Yes. How about your last relationship? What was that like? When? How did that end? Uh, my last serious relationship, uh, was, it was in university, and it just didn't work out because we didn't want to live in the same place. Yeah. Okay. And how, how long did you guys live together? Uh, we lived together for a year. For a year. Yeah. And like, what kind of guys are you into? So Salvador wants uh, to know what kind of guys you're into. I like exotic guys. Ooh, Salvador. <laughs> you're currently single, right? Yes. Is there perhaps something you want to do to show this young lady your, uh, your bachelor <laughs> status? Um, you, you know, like, is there something you'd like to perform? Perhaps a little show to see if maybe she likes you? Wait. Do you like Justin Bieber? I'm Canadian. I love Justin Bieber. She's Canadian. They love Justin Bieber. <laughs> He's a Canadian, too. Here here goes Salvador putting on a little show for you. Oh, you've started. <laughs> Okay, wait. You played that earlier. Theo, what do you think? Are you going to fuck Salvador at some point? Yes. Oh! <laughs> what an easy bit. I mean, those Canadians, they <laughs> just, they'll just let anybody in. Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Did you hear what Revan just said? Nope. You should get, uh, steal some frames from the frame store that you work at. You're like one frame per second. Whoa. <laughs> wow. redman has got bars. Oh, my God. He's got framing Stupid. jokes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I was also framed at one point. <laughs> I didn't do it, I swear to God. The judge says I did, but I didn't. A lot of people don't know this. It was actually Jolena that framed Roger Rabbit. Please. And that's confidential. Uh-oh. Patty. Sophia, what else should we know about you? Tell us another fun fact about your life that uh, that's interesting. I've been told by the producer inside the booth that we have some of your art uh, on the uh, screen. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's great. Look, look at that. Wow. There's Red Band, Tony. <laughs> And then it gets...
gets a little wild here. Look at Jeremiah. <laughs> we have Jeremiah. <laughs> Look at uh, look, 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 Chris, look, look at look at Joel Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That was great. We're just laughing at her to her face. Well, that was pretty good. Me and Tony were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Tony, she spent all the time. She spent all the time on Tony and Brian, yeah. and it looks like I have shoestring hair. Well, look at my beard. It's kind you of weird. <laughs> look at Chroma Krista. I look like a scoop of ice cream or something. <laughs> oh, look, look, hey, look, it's Joel Pesci. <laughs> oh, I look, I look like a... <laughs> Looks like Luca Magnata. <laughs> you really got Jeremiah's nose down on that, though. I like that. And his straw hair. <laughs> well, you see my beard? My beard is like long hair. You it's look chiseled. <laughs> can we go back to him? Back to me, real quick? Oh my god. I mean, my balloons oh my god. What the fuck? Wow! Look at Joel's uh, Jeremiah's nose. Go over to Jeremiah. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the nose is pretty solid, yeah. actually. Look at that. That is yeah. a that is a black diamond ski resort on Jeremiah's <laughs> nose. <laughs> that was good. Wow. Then, let's slowly go over all these. He looks these. like Slow and Wilson. Thea's <laughs> laughing. She has a great sense of humor. Let's get back. Let's talk about Red Band's beard for a yeah, second what here. Is going on? <laughs> he's got a ten o'clock shadow. <laughs> uh, uh, Look at that. It's like it's like healthy Red Band. This is from a healthier time. Yeah. It's a different frame. That's, this is the end of a hydroxy cut commercial. <laughs> and then let's I have a let, go ahead. I drew, I drew Red Band and um, Tony maybe two years ago when you were in Toronto doing a Kill Tony Road show here. Awesome. Um, and I didn't show you when I got pulled out of the bucket, but I did not. So I have those on the back burner for a long time. And then when I submitted this week, I uh, very and then you only had, then you only had ten minutes. To <laughs> what was my reference of, of fucking mashed potatoes? <laughs> You know, I love Joel. Joel, Joel, Joel looks like Lee Syad more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to we're lizard meat brothers, me and Lee. Shout, Shout out, out to, to the guys And then uh, Jet Ski's pretty good. Yeah, Jesse. Good. Jesse, what do you think about uh, your drawing? I look awesome. Yeah, <laughs> but next looks like you got like hit like by a Jet Ski. <laughs> Chris look looks like Chris a reptilian shapeshifter. <laughs> Yeah, Chroma, oh. Chroma Chris has the open mouth of a blow-up doll. Oh. It puts the lotion in the basket. Oh, my God. And it's receding hairline. But then again, that really just basically is Chroma Chris. That's a great drawing of yeah. Chroma Chris. Um, <laughs> I love that. I love a red band oh. turning into a healthy you guys, werewolf. You guys look like Bert and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need that picture of Joel blown up. I just want to wait. I want that. I want that. I don't know. What would that be good? And maybe the kitchen tattoo. <laughs> just a giant picture. Do you of that. think for a week that could be the cover of the Kill Tony page? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, if Ryan J ever needs a week off, we can actually mix it. We could have the first ever. You're the first ever artist whose drawings are as funny as the show. I look like a fucking See, mango. Ryan J. Ryan J mixes comedy into the beautiful art. Your art is the comedy. It's incredible. Pretty good. That's what. I Always been aiming for it. Thank you so much, Tony. I look like a big toe with it. a face. It's awesome. That's what everyone says. Is the best kind of art is the kind that makes you laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> I felt something. Oh, always the shipper, never the artist. I guess is uh, what it's like in the life of okay. Thea Thyssen. That'd be a good airbrush painting, like on the side of your car or something like that. What yeah. fucking painting are we looking at that we, we, and that we like? No, Thea, I love it. That is, uh, that is so awesome. Um, anything else crazy we should know about you before letting you go? Uh, what else is crazy about me? I don't know. I'm a dual citizen, so I'm collecting both the U.S. stimulus and all the Canadian payouts, which is great. Whoa, look.
look at that dual citizen how'd you end up snagging that um i'm actually tri-nationalized three passports so i was born in the states um my dad was born in canada my mom was born in the netherlands so wow jolina in- jolina is a tri-national too she tries to get a passport but she's not allowed <laughs> Not yet. I laugh, but I can't get over how much I look like a fucking s- Snicker bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> Snicker bar. Yeah, I look like I made it with the bucket of destiny. Yeah, let's know. look at it one more time. Let's just <laughs> let's just zoom in on Joel here. <laughs> Joel Rogan. Oh my god. Oh, I look at that. Oh. Little, you have a little mole on his on his eyebrow. What is that? I love yeah. it. I, I mean, do actually have one. That was the, that's actually the best detail. And look, <laughs> look, a little you got right the lumpy. Here. Look at the top of his head. Can you <laughs> zoom into just the top of his head? That's what every. Oh yeah, look at that. That's exactly what it's like. A lot of people don't know. Joel was once used as the stick to hit a pinata with when he was a child. At one of why his wouldn't I be gathering. the pinata? <laughs> <laughs> the stick. Yeah, you were the stick. You were so tiny. They already had a pinata. It looks like the band dressed up like we have Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> it is incredible. It's almost like uh it's like a uh, Hold on, go back to it one more time. <laughs> it's like it's like a Mr. Clean if he actually like cleaned your apartment for if you. He was dirty. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Dirty. <laughs> drinking the bleach. You got Jolena drinking bleach. All right. Well, this was uh, somehow, yeah, Thea, very rarely is the, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, even though it's going to sound mean, Jesse, no uh, offense to be given here. Normally, the female comedians that call into the show are not my favorites, but uh, but so far, you're my favorite thing of this episode. Though That drawing <laughs> and your bubbly personality and us going back to you and you laughing at the jokes about your drawing the whole time, uh, which let us laugh even more and harder about your drawing. Uh, it was a huge highlight for me. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. I've been a fan since the Iron Patriot days. Kill Johnny, you really get into stand-up. So thanks for giving other people the opportunity to come on the show. This is amazing. I love it. You got it. Use your dual citizenship when things get booming again. Come see an episode live. Sign up live, all right? Definitely. There she goes. Thea Thyssen, everybody. <laughs> playing music and we have another regular on this show uh he is hilarious we love him ladies and gentlemen genius joke writer master roaster the king of dildos and booty holes the great david lucas everybody is here there you go hi david (laughs) the latex himself oh shit What, what, what was that Mr. Latex himself. That's it. That's me. The, the king of latex. <laughs> the man who's got it made. Rubber made. The latex guru. Tony Hinchcliffe. That's me. How are you? Tony Lubricant Hinchcliffe. That's, that's me. That's it. T-O-N-Y <laughs> jelly. My nigga. <laughs> What's good, What's going bro? on there, David? How are you, pal? I'm good, bro. I went to the, uh, the Poppy Reserve yesterday in Antelope Valley. That shit was dope. Oh, wow. Cool. It's pronounced Popeye Reserve. <laughs> Wait. Hey, Joe Berg, I just seen that picture that the, the chick drew of you, dog. You ain't got shit to say. Oh, shit. He thought that was you that, that said What did that. I look like? A booty hole? <laughs> a dildo? Nah, bro. You, you, you look horrible. like a, a, a teenage version of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and you look like an adult version of Buckwheat. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god, that was horrible, bro. <laughs> no, you can't Except get your village people quarantine. looking ass up. So, David, as well as being a great roaster, you're also uh, um, one of the great writers, uh, comedy-wise, stand-up comedy-wise on the show. Uh, have you been um, Have you been writing stand-up or writing new stand-up, perhaps of any kind, or quarantine? Yeah, stand-up? I also love it. Let me hit you with a joke. All right, okay. All right. So, uh, am I the only guy who tries uh, new sex moves on an ugly girl before I try them on my girlfriend? Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> I 
love that. That's a new that's a new joke I'm working on, dog. Heck yeah, let's tag it. What do you guys Hell think? Yeah. So well, how would that go? If you try out uh if you try out New sex, sex moves. moves on an ugly girl before you actually take them to your relationship. Right. She doesn't get offended when you ask her to wear a mask right now in these times. <laughs> I got a baby. I got to put a bag over your head. It's for the COVID. Yeah. I don't know That's why that great. was so funny, Joe Burke. No, I don't either, but thank you. I needed that. It is funny. Yeah. We're opening it up to a writer's room. Anthony Gage, you guys have any tags for his new test out sex moves on a on a uh, on an ugly chick before ugly girl. bringing him back home to your main yeah. girl? <laughs> and then They're I got a, another one. I I got another one. I can't wait to work out on stage yep. where I talk about being a black suburban kid and comparing my life to a tiger in captivity because I'm still dangerous, but I just can't survive in the jungle, but I'm still ferocious enough to kill a white person. And if a cop sees you, they're going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> is my new joke, right? <laughs> That's it. Hey, hey, did you happen to watch uh, William's uh, set? He, he talked some shit on you. You think I give a fuck, bro? You see how he look? <laughs> yeah. You're black suburban. He is a white Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And, he's, uh, and I'm I'm doing I'm doing four or five miles a day and he's doing four, five, six packs a day. That's true. I will ask you this because <laughs> I saw a picture of you earlier. you you are uh someone that I follow on the Instagram. I think it was on Instagram that I saw this. I saw a picture of you looking yeah. much thinner. Is that real or was that a filter? That's all me, baby. <laughs> You're really doing it. So you really do have a little something up your sleeve. And by that, I mean a bunch of yeah, jiggly man. skin. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Been eating my booty hole Shut dildo up. cereal. Getting my brain ready. Tony, you look like the type of nigga that collect dingleberries. I actually do. I keep them in a box. In my dingleberry yeah. box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. I do. Dingleberries put... Dingleberries are is the only flavor of berry that you don't love. Hey <laughs> Tony. Hey Tony, you put con you put condoms on hot sauce bottles with your mouth. Well, it's actually funny that you mentioned that because <laughs> because I actually do do that. Condoms protect against all hot sauce related. Uh, all right, um, <laughs> that's fun. So other than uh, other than walking every day, have you been doing anything with your diet that's different? Uh, to be walking, the walking, walking, jogging, cutting out sugar and shit. Um, doing two hundred push-ups a day, two hundred crunches. Wow. wow Nestle crunches? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you cut out sugar, what are you sweetening your Kool-Aid with? I don't drink Kool-Aid, bitch. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like all the greats. You know, the Kool-Aid man doesn't get high on his own supply. Right. You, you drink <laughs> Kool-Aid and Joel. just has Kool-Aid. <laughs> hey, that's true, actually. Again, everything, all the jokes you guys are saying is true. I have Kool-Aids, which is a type of HIV you can only get from getting butt-fucked by somebody that has AIDS that's super With cool. With sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Tony, Tony, Tony got Kool-Aid when he put his feet in ice water. Oh yeah. Why? Why? Why would? The, why, why would I do that? Because <laughs> it turned it turn your body it turn your body cold. Oh, because it's cold. That's right. Kool Aid, nigga. That's right. When you when you stick your uh, foot in some water, that's how you make Roundup weed killer. Oh my goodness! Wow, <laughs> you got me there. I love it. So, David, yeah. you, you living by yourself? Yeah, dog. What else have you been doing? Have you been watching The Last Dance on uh, Netflix via ExpressVPN? Whatever that means. But, uh, yeah, I've been watching uh, that, that Jordan shit. I'm, I'm more of a Magic Johnson fan. But I just, started watching Game, I just started watching Game of Thrones today. 
I'm a Magic Johnson guy too. That's actually who gave me my Kool Aids. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I once had uh, backstage passes at the Magic Johnson Theater, and I bent over to pick up a popcorn kernel that I dropped, and Magic <laughs> Magical Johnson dunked on your ass. <laughs> Wait, that, that's his full name is Magical yeah. Johnson. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Magic. Magician Johnson. That's right. He dunked his left nut into my butt, and uh, that's how it happens. Actually, yeah. that's the only way to get AIDS is if they dip their nut <laughs> of their nut sack, one half of their nut sack, <laughs> into your butt. That's how Magic you get Johnson. It. Magic Johnson was fucking with Tony when he was a Lakers girl. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> actually, I met. Uh, it's crazy enough. I met Magic Johnson while I was at the Magic Castle playing Magic the Gal. <laughs> <laughs> Tony yeah, like right. the that table line is Tony. really kicking there it is. in. Yeah, when Magic Johnson Tony. practices I sex. Started here. <laughs> Tony, you look like the nigga at the uh, stadium that be throwing peanuts. <laughs> Wait a second. Why would I throw peanuts? I don't know, bro. You just like to always touch nuts and shit. Well, I mean, don't you like it when people throw nuts at you when you're performing at the circus? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Got him. Oh, shit, bro. Well, if you don't get your tiger trainer looking ass up out of here. What'd you just call me? You a tiger trainer. You look like you make balloon animals. What the fuck gotcha. is that supposed to mean? You look like you make gotcha. you look like you make balloon animals with booty hole condoms. That's the sex Damn, tricks you're doing on that. ugly girls. Damn, I, hey, wait till we get back on stage. Tony be making balloon animals out of condoms. I'm gonna hit you with that so hard. <laughs> Do it, dude. I'll write a comeback for that. In the meanwhile, because we have about I think we have about a year and a half before we're gonna be in front of a live audience again. No, nah, fuck that. That's real bad saying that shit. Oh, can someone please nah, isolate that moment of Joel completely breaking character and just truly <laughs> saying, oh, fuck at that? I'm going to start no, fixing bro. cars with my dad it's... and shit. Bro, I don't <laughs> I know go what full the fuck... Mexican and just be a mechanic. Dog, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't got no fucking work experience. I know. What would you do, David? That's actually a great question. What would you, if you had to get a normal job, what would be your uh, your first go-to? Is it Foot Locker or something? Shut your racist ass up. <laughs> you said that you you're... Gonna be a, you said that you're... You're going to start making your own barbecue sauce, Red Man. <laughs> probably do that. That's a good uh, idea. You said what, that you're... I, you, you said that you're oh. black suburban. Uh, maybe you could uh, drive for Uber Black. They love my driving suburban. record is actually my driving record is actually too fucked up to drive for Uber, bro. I got too many speeding tickets. Speeding tickets. Looks like goodness. you got eating tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Joe Burr? Yeah, me. <laughs> Joe Burr, shut your sack of Jawia licking ass up. <laughs> eating tickets. Actually, Joe Kahanis. Eating tickets would be the greatest thing to watch someone get a ticket for. I caught you doing uh, donuts in a '65. You know I put you over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Red, Red Band don't, don't want to go back to performing. What? Why? You don't want to go back to the stage. He enjoy laying in bed getting Postmates all day. I mean, it's it's the same. I, well, I did that before. Literally nothing has <laughs> oh. changed. Nothing has changed Red Band has been living in quarantine this whole time. Yeah. Uh, uh, except now he only got to he only got to take a shower one time a week. True. Maybe. Maybe when that's true. I saw that uh I saw that you uh you took the time to vacuum your dining room table last night My or bed. yes, bed. it was your bed. Yeah. You Where vacuumed you... your bed. Yeah, we yeah. have a little sh uh, sh uh, sh uh, vacuum cleaner right next to it. Uh what are the shock backs or the handheld vacuum cleaners? Yeah, I don't know hey, if bro, you I... guys uh I don't know if you guys follow uh Instagram stories, but I I I, I you two actually are you automatically slide. I don't know if you know this because the algorithm on them. That you guys, as soon as you post a story, <laughs> you immediately pop up in my top left because I watch your guys' stories relentlessly. That's and crazy. I'm pretty. I'll just leave it at that. I won't say why I watch them relentlessly. Let's just say but Tony like, randomly messages me LOL and I never know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times. 
a lot of times it's like just something random, and he'll say LOL, and I'm like, well, what, oh. we should talk about that picture that you posted of you in the bed with uh, no clothes on. That I guess you put on Kevin. Yeah. Adams. What the fuck was that shit about, dude? That was the creepiest grossest it's, this is the, it's this weird is what he does it. anytime you call him on something he does this inaudible laugh this is a, there have been times after the show where like we're gonna take a band photo and i have like the dildo and he's like can you put the dildo down yet he'll post a fucking yeah. photo in a full-on thong and that's real shit that's like craigslist pictures you have like a folder yeah where did you, you did you did look you look at that look at that i mean that's straight out of that's straight out of craigslist look at those dang your body shape is unbelievable. This goes along uh, with dude, the, the one like, where uh, so you gross. made a silly one uh, a couple months ago. So gross. You look like Venus de Jello. <laughs> <laughs> Did your wife do this picture, by the way? She must have, right? Uh, Did you set a timer for that? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, those are your wife. That has to be your wife's underwear, right? A pair of her sexy panties or something? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not mine. Wow. Oh, God, it's seen... so gross. Uh, what was that, Jolene? Hey, man. <laughs> Nothing. I'm no, go it. ahead. I want to know what you were almost it's, said. It's known that Jeremiah matches his underwear to his characters. That's how insane he is, like, yeah. getting into character. We all know from the Lucy Gooseys that That's he wore true. with the Monopoly man in his underwear. Yeah. He probably has thongs for all the women characters he plays. Yeah. Jock straps for the athletes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking true. Yeah, I do, it sure. is a real thing. I will wear uh, the underwear that pertains to Maxi certain pads. characters. It's wow. True. So, but do you understand the reason behind that photo? Go ahead. Because Kevin Mack posts sexy pics of himself, and you wanted to be sexy. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> this is what you think. What you think <laughs> Kevin Mack is doing? That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's this is this is what I think he does. So Wearing like women's a, it's, underwear. It's like, it's like a parody. It's a heightening and a parody. Wow. Hey, Joe Bird. Oh, what's shit. Up? What's up? <laughs> what? Out of what? nowhere. Hey, with, with that bandana and that wig on, I just want to say that you look like an Indian Reserve prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> you do look Poke like a hot Indian. ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poke a hot ass. <laughs> You're so funny, David. We absolutely love you. Fuck. We're, we're going to fuck for uh, pipe tobacco. Oh, my God. You're so funny. David, I love you <laughs> so much. Up, you're the best. Check uh, out I'm David Rose. I'm going to come here live next week. Okay. We'll do some push-ups on air. Okay. You got to wear a mask, though. Y'all niggas ain't got no mask on. <laughs> I know, but you're black, David. Come on. <laughs> I love y'all, man. We love you. David Lucas. He's on Instagram at David Lucas Funny. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find a new, another person picked by the producers uh, of Better Box Studios, Gage and Anthony, before the show. We're moving it along to another stranger. Let's see the comedy stylings of Connor Kokora. Here's Connor Kokora. Music. <laughs> Here goes Connor Kokora. If you're going to have diarrhea... It's probably best if you're the big spoon. I ran out of toilet paper in March. Turns out Colgate whitens more than just your teeth. My mom got knocked up by an Air Force pilot who flew the stealth bomber. He sure knew how to dump his load and get away undetected. My last Uber driver was deaf. And at the end of the ride, you can leave a compliment. So I said, great conversation. Some people think that white people and black people don't have a lot in common, but I don't think so. I know what it's like to wreck a Chevy Impala. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Connor Kakora. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, Connor. How are you, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Not often. It's very hard to get me to laugh at a poop joke. 
but that diarrhea big spoon that got me you got me good on that one simple oh, easy edited down perfect brian you're shaking your head no at that why is that i mean that's a i thought brian would like that diarrhea is so, it? Oh, is this one that you've written before? Is this another? No, no, let's no. check with the this another episode no, 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 of no, no, Red Man no, no. wrote it. I first? wish I wrote that. Right. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I thought he had, you had a filter on your video, by the way, like an eyebrow filter. No, your eyebrows are incredible. Uh, your eyebrows look like Thea Thyssen's drawing of the band. <laughs> I almost wish we could do a side by side. I wonder if that's possible to zoom in on his eyebrows, perhaps uh, on, during his performance. And it's like what the... she drew of my eyebrows. <laughs> wait, wait, look wait. at my eyebrows wait. and then look at him. Can we zoom in on those at all? <laughs> zoom in. It's on... like... <laughs> oh my god! god. It's uh, it's on. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Can we zoom in on Connor's eyebrows? Is that possible? That's a tough one, huh? S screenshot. Oh, Can there it is. The Can camera? I see my face yeah, again? Yeah, look at that. Wow. My goodness. That's what Thea Thyssen was Wait, using. Wait, scoot over to my face real quick. I think it's... Drew. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, Joel. That drawing of you kills me. Oh, my God. I want that as the background on my phone. Take, take <laughs> a picture, picture of it right now. <laughs> and that beard hair of red band it's incredible is there anything funnier than like 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 bad good drawings like it's like if it was Whoa. bad bad it wouldn't be funny but the fact that you yeah. can tell someone put like time and effort can, behind. can we get her to draw jeremiah in the thong on the bed <laughs> oh yes please draw if you're listening oh and that my is god next week. thea thyssen you have become an instant legend on the show uh that's at Thea Thyssen, T-H-Y-S-S-E-N, T-H-E-A-T-H-Y-S-S-E-N. But here we are with Connor Kokora. Connor, have you done stand-up comedy before? Yeah, I've been doing it for about a year. Heck yeah, man. Where are you at? Uh, Denton, Texas, uh, north of Dallas. North of Dallas. How far north is that? Uh, it's like mm, 30 miles northwest. Okay. You live out there with your family? I live here with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Are you originally from Denton, or is she she's originally from Denton? No, uh, neither of us are from Denton. I'm from a town in New Mexico, and she's from El Paso. Oh, wow. How long have you two been together? It will be six years in two weeks. Wow. My goodness. Any special plans for the uh, for the uh, anniversary? I might, like, you know, make her some salsa or something, you know? Wow. Oh, wow. she really is. Damn. <laughs> well, it's too bad you're not single. <laughs> what kind of salsa? What do you put in your salsa? Probably a El Paso salsa, right? Salsa verde. Salsa verde. Oh, my oh. God. Look at that. Yeah. It's a tomatillo, jalapeno, serrano. You know what it is, right? Jesus Christ. I was thinking of getting into the barbecue business, but maybe I should make salsa. Me gusta habanero. Yeah. Uh, no cilantro, no cebolla. So, Connor, um, you've been on the show before, is that right? Yeah, last time you guys were at uh, Hyenas in Fort Worth. Oh, okay, awesome. How did that go? It went all right. Heck yeah. Were you <laughs> Probably there, the only time I haven't bombed. Oh, cool. Oh, you sang a song. Uh, do, wait, yeah, were you, uh, were you, from was my he band. Was the one that sang like, the Kill Tony song? As in Minneapolis. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so, Connor, what's the name of your band? It's called Genius Christ. Genius Christ. Heck yeah, it's sort of coming back to me. And you guys are a rock and roll band? Yeah, more or less. What instrument do you play? I play guitar and do most of the vocals. Heck yeah. That's awesome, man. Are you guys, uh, were you guys performing a lot live before the quarantine? Uh, like once or twice a month, we've been wrapping up our first full-length album, and honestly, we haven't even seen each other for the last six weeks. Wow, crazy, crazy! It's got to be weird, weird time to be in a band, have to work with people. But I guess I mean we do it. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, so Con- some music. <laughs> six feet, six feet. Connor, what did what else about you that we didn't find out the first time that you were on? Do you think would be interesting for us to talk about? What does your girlfriend do for work? Uh, she is an elementary music teacher. Wow, look at that. Yeah. How adorable. I used to be so bad. I do a little bit of. Do a little bit of painting on the side. Oh. You have a painting of me looking like a fucking Uh, thumb? (laughs) Uh, I would love if that became just a whole new thing for artists out there to do, just bad Joel drawings. (laughs) And and do you have a Joel drawing this week? Ryan J is the man. (laughs) No, we know Ryan J is the man. Ryan J does good, good drawings. Ryan J couldn't draw. (laughs) Like... Ryan J couldn't draw that picture that that lady drew of you if he tried. Like Michael if, if, Lair couldn't draw that <laughs> picture if he tried. Oh my god, I love it, Connor. So you do some paintings. What else? What else about you? I feel like there's some deep dark uh, stories here. Dark stories. Uh, I'm not so sure. I got peed on at Boy Scout camp one year. Oh yeah, he was on the show earlier. Julian Liber from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get peed on yeah. in camp? Uh, we were working on our wilderness survival merit badge, and we had to build a shelter. This kid needed to pee. He didn't want to get out of the shelter. He, like, ended up stepping over my face and just kind of, like, gave me a little spritz. Wow. Nice. A little spritz. A little bit of that Texas shower time. Oh, yeah. The next day, they uh, I actually got it. Like, they... Like, initiated me into the Order of the Golden Arrow or something, so I wonder if that had anything to do with it. That's right. Nice. That's right. Heck, yeah. They, they, I hear they let you sell Girl Scout cookies after you get peed on from another man. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so, Connor, sure. uh, interesting stuff, man. You ever, uh, you ever been questioned by the police about anything? Yeah, I have, like actually. Like what? Tell um, us about it. What do you... What what are you doing sleeping in your car with your car on, sir? Are you are you intoxicated? Please step out of the vehicle. That's when you were just sleeping in the, when you were sleeping in your car with the car on, were you in your garage at the time? <laughs> no, dude. I was outside of my friend's house in high school. We were like having a get together, and I had gotten. I get sleepy when I'm drunk, and I didn't want to be a bummer on the party, so I went outside. And to sleep in my car, and it was cold, so I turned it on. Next I thing it. I know, knock, knock. Yeah. Yeah, you got cold. Did you think when you were getting cold in your car, did you think about unraveling your eyebrows and using them as a security blanket? <laughs> Let's talk about those for a second, because those are those are the two biggest bushes I've seen come out of Texas. And that includes George and George W. <laughs> made the guy from texas laugh at that one that's how you know that's that's worth a thousand points um so let's talk about those eyebrows do you uh do any upkeep on those or is that just fucking raw dog up there what's going on man i shaved down the middle <laughs> ah. That's it. Ah, you can you can't... come a little bit closer to the camera can we get close up to those things because those yeah. are like those are really... Yeah. Can, can you raise them for us? Oh, yeah, look at that. When do they turn into butterflies? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a couple fucking... A couple little piss catchers up there from uh, Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin. That's where I sell my merit badges, man. I love it, dude. What do, what do people do? You know, I was never... Uh, I never was in the Cub Scouts. I feel like when I was a little kid... I was sort of jealous of the kids that sort of had that like scout thing, but now in retrospect, I'm sort of glad that was I wasn't fun. part of it. You it were a, in it? it was, yeah, I, I became an Eagle Scout. Wow! Uh, I, I, Look it's at that. it's a lot of wow. camping. You Would you, know? did you, did you just do it for the free cookies? <laughs> no, no, because it was a lot of camping. It was a lot of fun, like canoeing and shit like that. It's a lot of outdoor campy stuff. Are you into any of that stuff now? Like, what would it take to get you yeah. in a canoe nowadays? Oh, I love canoeing. If there was canoeing around here, I would definitely do it. But there's not really canoeing much around here. It's more like kayaking. There are two things that we are doing, my friend. When this quarantine is over, and you know what they are. Dude, you roll it, well, in Ohio, it was rollerblading, rollerblading and canoeing. canoeing. Brian, in Ohio, you know gravy was... boats aren't canoes. <laughs> Yeah, in Ohio, canoeing is a lot of fun because you would uh, get dropped off at like the top of a like a river or whatever, 
and you just take a, a a big cooler of alcohol and you just sat there and drank the whole yeah it's like, like a five float hours. trip right what's yeah. that like a float trip right? yeah a float trip yeah. and then uh, they would pick you up at at the end dude. <laughs> out here though there's not really much canoe I've tried to look for canoeing out here and there's not really much canoeing out here. how hard did you try <laughs> dude it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, there's not you. You went outside your out door, <laughs> <laughs> looked around. You're like, nope. There's no <laughs> oh, oh. oh no, that's fun. Yeah, no, it's true. It's uh, it's weird. California, strangely, even though there are rivers, it's 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 a weird place for things like that. I've been I've been uh, on this show. I once said it's weird. There's not a lot of great fishing around California, and I got destroyed on the internet for saying that because obviously everyone in America is like, Durr, the Pacific Ocean. But I was, I wasn't really counting that. I'm talking about like rivers and lakes. Yeah. Like they have lakes here that have just dried up. Like what's that one? The Salton Sea? Salton Sea. Yeah. Crazy. They yeah. just pretend like that's a sea and then you drive by it and it, there's, it's Smell the like desert. Shit. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, there's whitewater rafting somewhere. Just a couple hours away, but I'm not, not fan positive. Of whitewater rafting. Oh, I love it. I've done. Um... Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh and, if you, and, if, and if you look, it's kayaking in the ocean. If you look, it's, I said it was. Ki- there's kayaking. <laughs> the, guy, the guy from Germany likes white power rafting. If you look at it, it's mostly it's just... kayaking and it's mostly in the ocean. For those of you that are just listening to the podcast, uh, the guys in the booth just brought up canoeing and kayaking in Los Angeles, and the map lit up like a coronavirus. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but these aren't like the kind of canoeing that like you do. In no, Ohio. It's, it's true. Completely different. It's true in Ohio where we're from, especially uh, if you take a trip down to Southern Ohio or around West Virginia, which is extremely close. Yep. Done the cheat river in uh, West Virginia. Incredible times. I'm going to go right now. I'm so excited. It is wild. It is wild times. Um, well, Connor Kakora, it was fun to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Everybody good? Anything else? Thank you there for goes Connor me. Kakora. Thank you, Connor. Great to have you back on again. We'll Take see you in easy, Texas. Y'all. Connor underscore Kakora. K O K O R A. All right, we got to keep flying through it. Your next comedian, hey. this young lady, goes by the name of Shelby Gonzalez. Here's a little bit of music from the Kill Tony Band. seconds uninterrupted from Shelby Gonzalez dudes are always down with the tearful beach you know with the mascara running down the face and shit but not so much a tearful drunken recap of all my past traumas they want the gaggage but not the baggage being a woman is tough I'm tired of being empowered. Yeah, I know I can do anything, but I don't want to. Oh, and the rape. Everyone's getting raped now, except me. Always bridesmaid, you know. I definitely have a type though, when it comes to dating. In fact, I've had more nerdy white dudes in me than the convention center does during Comic-Con. So many mentally unstable white dudes have dumped rounds into me. You could call me in elementary school. (laughs) There it is. Shelby, that was awesome. Thank you. Where are you at? Phoenix. Wow, awesome. We love Phoenix. That's great. Have you done stand-up comedy before? Yeah, uh, I've been doing it about two years now this time around. I originally started about five or six years ago, and I quit for a little bit, but got back into it about two years ago. Very cool. You had some funny jokes there, the past traumas thing, all that, the the raped. One thing I loved is that you talked about how women have all this freedom now, and you don't want to do anything. And I found that, while it wasn't necessarily... The most like hoo hoo ha ha joke. I found it interesting because I don't ever hear women sort of taking that approach ever. Is that a longer joke normally that you have more beats to in a 
regular stand-up set or just sort of a new idea or something that's just a one not, not particularly a longer joke i mean that's just kind of the one one of the ones i kind of stuck in there with the whole you know women being empowered shit like i, I still like having doors open for me you know i uh, right i don't right. i don't want to do everything myself <laughs> right of course um <clears throat> when you talk about past traumas what are we talking about here let's talk about your what is um <clears throat> Uh, family shit, you know, growing up with an emotionally abusive mother that didn't care about me. <laughs> that comes up a lot. <laughs> well, that makes 11 of us. Um, yeah, really. I had a, I actually had a real a physically abusive <laughs> mother. She used to pull guns on me and knives and yeah. Well, now, now what do you do? I do the same to my kids, man. That's Pass right. it on. Pass it on. Just play it that is bitch. a breakthrough. <laughs> Wait, was that my mother? <laughs> Telling Joel to just play the drums. <laughs> oh no, Joel, Joel, it's okay. Sit back down. Sit back. Oh, there he. Oh no, he's leaving. Oh, this is strange. She. Normally, nor this is going to be a, a very rare, uh, rare occurrence where Joel walks off. I wonder if he's do perhaps doing a character change or something like that. <laughs> no, he needs to use the baño. Oh, the restroom. <laughs> So Shelby, uh, other than an emotionally abusive mother, what else? Anything else interesting? I make websites in my spare time. I've been doing that as kind of like a side gig for a couple years now. Um, was laid off from my job about a month ago because of all this Rona shit. <laughs> what was that job? I do. I'm a POS systems analyst. Essentially, I help employees and franchisees of restaurant chains set up, install, and upgrade their point of sale software and equipment nice heck yeah you have a boyfriend there in phoenix no no living the single um, quarantine life what have you been doing to pass the time there all alone i've been watching a lot of 90 day fiance oh yeah yeah, yeah. good stuff I, I heard that's good yeah it is good i actually uh, i actually wow. have caught up on quite a bit of that start with the first really season surprised. too I was really surprised to learn how many other people like are ashamed that they watch it, but are like cool and not, you know, the, the typical like housewife mom kind of person that watches that. And I, I'm really surprised I get to like talk to other cool people about that show. How many other people actually watch it? It is incredible. It's just a gif of a train wreck over and over and over again. These people Ooh. that are just being used and they have no idea. It is okay. absolutely awesome. I mean, you'll just see, you know, you'll be flipping through the channels and you'll see just this voluptuous, you know, big breasted, you know, ridiculous woman with her ass cheeks and tits hanging out. And then it'll cut to some guy who's with her that looks like the drawing of Joel from <laughs> Thea Tyson. And it's weird. Which it's one... like these two things do not belong together. And it's weird how some of them actually survive. Like, And you're like, how the fuck did this actually survive? Like the first scene, that weird cross-eyed chick. She's got I'm, not, I'm not sure which season I, I've caught up on. They're my, the, my, one of my oh, favorite guy, ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah, that guy's out of control. <laughs> Sure, but one of my favorite ones, there's actually two of them. One of them, the guy is with a beautiful Latina girl, and he's just a fucking whiny dork. I mean, just this, you know, I just don't, I just don't know if I, yeah, I don't, I don't know if she, I'm ever going to get her to love me how I like her. And you don't realize, like, you just want to slap him and go, dude, you're a fucking bitch. Change your attitude, first of all. I mean, if you had some fucking swagger, you could be giving this girl a good time anyway and then the other one really my true favorite is this uh there's this one with the young she's a young sort of not really that young i guess she's actually i would guess probably early 30s and she bagged this like 21 year old jamaican dude that literally is like look if you don't have sex with me two three times a day i'm gonna cheat like he says that like at the top and sure enough it takes no time i think he cheated on her like during their wedding or something like that basically like oh, oh the show's just unbelievable it's yeah it's just that, endless drama i love it the one that i hate is uh, love is blind have you guys caught any of this no, I don't like oh that. it's just oh. dog shit i hate that show oh i hate it i love you know, it I, I watched a couple episodes of it and there is that one woman i think she's the one that's like universally hated on that show i just i yeah. couldn't get past it yeah. i wanted to keep watching but i could not 
I can. Yeah, <laughs> Love is Blind is so fucked up that the women on that show look like the drawing of Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Shelby, I just, I just want this to turn. In. I just want more table wine to start flowing and be like, "Have you guys seen the newest episode of Real Housewives?" <laughs> no, I have to, my girl. Know, <laughs> all of this stuff is on in the in the background at a lot of the current quarantine, um, current quarantining that I'm doing. Obviously, you know what I mean. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people like it. A lot of lady shows. A lot of these shows with the women. I watch a lot of Animal Crossing playthrough videos. You do? Yeah. <laughs> are you one of the an are you one of the animals crossing? Hey. All right. Shelby, anything else crazy we should know about you? Any fun facts about Shelby? You have any special skills or talents you could show show us? You seem like the kind of chick that knows how to like uh, vape using your nostrils or something. <laughs> Uh, I'm really into computer shit. Like I said, I, I do a uh, website building on the side. Um, about to graduate with my associate degree in computer programming in May, so super psyched about that. Um, Are you bummed that yeah. you that you won't be able to to like do a ceremony? Oh, dude, I was so bummed about that. I, yeah, oh, a lot of people are bummed. I've been on and off with this for years trying to get this fucking degree, and I found out I couldn't even walk, and I was. Yeah, it was pretty, that was I feel like they'll, they'll probably redo it, you know, after a couple months. You I, know, yeah, just... I'm thinking so too, but I just, I, you know, I've been waiting for so long, and the fact that they're even going to reschedule it kind of bummed me out. But yeah. I see you have, uh, yeah. I see you have tattoos on you. Um, do you like all of yeah. your tattoos, or is there any that you uh, regret or anything like that anywhere? Not really. I think all my tattoos are pretty dope. Is that pretty pizza? Cool. Is that pizza? pizza. I have pizza. Uh. I have <laughs> Oh my goodness! Is that a gremlin no, behind you? Oh, that's my Furby. 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 Oh. That's Furby. oh, my <laughs> Furby is below my waistline, <laughs> and in between my legs. Furby. <laughs> well, Shelby, thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. Awesome jokes, yeah. awesome style. Keep writing. Dope, man. Keep, keep doing it. Extend out that. Uh, f don't want your freedom women thing you could have a real you could have a real your own voice sort of as i think feel like as yeah. a female comedian if you use that mm -hmm. not only as a joke but sort of like as an outline of yourself to sort of take a different approach than you know so many women also that, watch uh, yeah. ali wong's uh, special her opening joke is all that oh really just make sure you don't do the okay, same so, yeah. Proof Tony Hinchcliffe's never watched an Ali Wong special once and for all. What's wrong with right you? here live, I know. Two Wongs don't make a right. Okay, there goes Shelby Gonzalez. She's on Instagram at Shelbsterina. S-H-E-L-B-S-T-E-R-I-N-A. And with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, comes my favorite part of the night. Um, every single week, this guy boggles my mind. I absolutely love him. Everybody knows it. He is the reigning, defending, Kill Tony champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you super regular Michael Lair, everybody. Here's Michael, everyone. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, roses are red, violets are blue. If I turn blue, call 911. Oh! Oh, blue cross, blue shield. Yeah, they fucked me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, I'd fuck this, the pussy, but <laughs> you got stairs, bitch. Oh! <laughs> Put these in your pocket and help me with my jacket. Little Bo Peep lost her sheep to mad sheep disease. 
Not to pay the bill, Bo Peep gets down on her knees. Oh! <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, Mother Hoven went to the cupboard to get her boyfriend his pills, which she liked to taste. So the pills went to waste, and now Michael is dead. Oh! <laughs> <coughs> Little Jack Corner sat in the corner because his legs don't work. <laughs> then he spent all his money on one strip clubs watching big black asses twerk. Oh! Mary had a little lamb and a slight case of downs. She had the strength of 100 men in trouble keeping off the pounds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, beautiful. A surprise the night. performance yeah, awesome. by the great Injured Dice Clay. He was on the show a few weeks ago. He's back. How are you, sir? Uh, I got a fan there like Austin, you some Ricky. I'm like, what's Ricky? They're like, it's energy healing, like no touch. Fuck you, Ricky. <laughs> I want the touch healing. They're doing the no touch, but they're humming like they're coming with the Ricky. Mm. <laughs> mm. Fuck you and your fucking Ricky. Hell yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, did you try it at all? Because it might work. Yeah, have you tried Ricky, Tony? No, I haven't. I tried a guy named yeah. Ricky once. I gave him <laughs> Matt Kool Aids. Yeah, I and Ricky Martin. My crazy life. <laughs> you are living La Vida Loco over there. Um, wow. So, uh, what's um, up? La Vida Locomotor. <laughs> <laughs> living La Vida Locomo Locomotor. Wait, I'm what? Chilling. Hey, thanks oh. again for the text you gave me uh, yesterday. When things get back to normal, you can try my chair. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's been wanting to. It looks like Mario Kart for real. It seems fun, actually. Riding in yeah, his chair? Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Motorized chair? That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. You'll dude, definitely know. I was know. a comedian before I was sick. Of course I got the funnest chair, you dummy. Absolutely. That's why he's wearing a shirt that says Dice on it, because both of those things get rolled regularly. Yeah, baby. Hey, look, look at all the photos See of Kill Tony he has on the wall. Oh, look at that. You do have a little cool spread of uh, Kill Tony pics back there. Is that your normal yeah. setup? Oh, yeah. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm disabled. <laughs> I don't have a job. <laughs> Every moment I'm awake, I work on your fucking show. <laughs> oh my god, I love that so much. I love that so much. Yeah, but let me... Yeah, these are my L.A. and Buffalo show posters that Colette, my nurse slash girlfriend, um, printed out at the Target, and they mail them. It's real cool that the Death Squad one's up there. Any Look paintings of that. me? Fuck yeah. Um, we, yeah, we, baby. I'll raise you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. I love it. That's a great backdrop. Uh, so what no else has doubt. been going on? What else has been going on this week of the quarantine for you, Michael? I um I did almost get into a fight last night. Maybe a stabbing, maybe a shooting. Oh, tell us more. I got to know about this. Yeah. Well, you know how I've posted about my troubles 
with um smoking weed on my balcony yes yeah i know all about yeah, that so, yeah so i'm in the play and um you know i'm not compromised but obviously i've had better days so now i have to go on <laughs> outside to smoke weed right and i'm posting um out front of my apartment and if you don't know this about me i'm gonna die on my sword no one can front on me i'm not shook i'm not a bitch no one can play me You're so right. anyway yeah yeah so i'm sitting out there in my wheelchair nighttime glasses mask gloves and this guy comes up and he goes, hey man, can you let me inside? And I'm like, bro, you know I can't do that. I have a responsibility to the other tenants. And then he got real mad. He was meeting a friend and then under his breath, breath he started calling me a bitch and i was in the mood and i like to talk shit <laughs> most of the time people don't do anything so i go i'm not a bitch take that back i'm protecting the other tenants take <laughs> that back and he goes yeah man you better shut up man and he was reaching around at his waist He's like, you better relax. I'm like, I can't walk. All I do is relax. <laughs> Take that. I'm not a bitch. And that guy, he did And we had that really, like, alpha, alpha eye contact. And it was exhilarating time <laughs> of my life. That shit ain't got nothing on six legs, baby. Oh my god, I, I love, love that. That's like an episode of Game of Thrones, because in the end, the guy in the wheelchair won it all. He's the ugly man. I'm the brown eyed raven. I'm gonna be the pink guy raven, and when I get through with all these singles. <laughs> Holy shit. I love it. Is that a new neck brace you have? I just noticed when you turn your head a bunch of different directions that you have a new neck brace on. You know, injured dice clay got like 12 neck braces. I got the baker's dozen of these bitches. <laughs> I love that. Where do you get them from? Amazon. Where else, man? Fuck <laughs> a small business. Yo, all you small businesses, all nannies and grandmas and uncles, fuck yourself, Amazon, baby. <laughs> I love that take. I love that approach. Fuck all the small businesses. Let's monopolize everything. I think we should all have cafeteria-style meals here in America. Uh, unified meals, unified health care, unified everything. Let's just have the government pay for everything and wonder how it gets paid. But check out Michael Lair's oh, website. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. MichaelLairComedy.com and go down the rabbit hole of my brain and several years of my brain on amphetamines. Ooh, that's exciting. What a twist. When yeah. you're, what, Guess what bits were written on amphetamines? I love that. My goodness gracious. That's an exciting game. I, I like to play that. I'm looking yeah, forward to my, when I, Yeah, when I game that. night at your house. Well, guess what drugs I use to write which bits? Mm hmm. For sure. I love it. Well,. Anything else uh anything else crazy we should talk about Michael? Well, I feel like we're coming to the end of the plague and um I feel like sooner than later we're going to be back and it's going to be like this shit never happened. 
and my son's gonna be back in LA and we're gonna be at the comedy store and it's gonna feel new again. And I've been engineering a way for me to perform downstage where every comic performs. I no longer will be on the bandstand. I will be a real comic, a normal boy, and I will perform downstage on the main room, I think, of the comedy store. store, store. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, that, that's an that's a interesting thing I don't think a lot of people know about is that there's stairs that surround the main room stage, even though the, technically the main room is on the first floor, the regular level, street level of Sunset Boulevard. Uh, there's a lot of single stairs and double stairs and triple stairs to get up to the back of the stage and on the stage and then even lower on the stage. And there's two offset unbalanced stairs to get down from where you normally perform down on the red part of the main stage. And uh, while before you told me that you liked performing up there, if you want to come down to the uh, red level, of course, we would love to have you. How are you going to do it? Suicide dive? Um, one, um, one, uh, I'll keep it a surprise. Absolutely, dude. If you get up out of that wheelchair and start walking, we're going to lose our minds, dude. I want to say some... No, that's uh, not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> what I'm, what I'm going to say is in reference to stupid fucking comments like that that mm -hmm. I get all the time. Yeah. Um... People are like, why don't they carry him off? What pussies, Hollywood, we all pussies, they let him. Here's the thing. You don't know shit about my disease, what it does, all that. So shut the fuck up. All I do is solve problems. I solve another problem. I will never do a set on that band stand again. I'll be downstairs rocking the motherfucking crowd. You're goddamn fucking right, and I cannot wait. Projections are looking like perhaps as early as June or July. We could be back in business. My guess is we're going to be right where we left off. Big, packed, sold-out audiences, um, high energy, and... Uh, Hopefully business will be a booming soon, so I'll be looking forward to that. Michael, we absolutely love you. You are undeniably one of the greatest uh, performers to ever be on this show. Every single week you blow our minds. You're a goddamn inspiration and, of course, an American hero. I love you guys and you and all the listeners and all the people I talk to are truly the best medicine, and I can't say that enough. We love you, Michael. The great Michael Lair, everybody. Love we you. fucking love you, pal. We'll see you next week. There goes Michael. MichaelLairComedy.com is his website. At Steve Martian 69 is his Twitter. And at MichaelLairComedy on Instagram is his Instagram handle. But before we go, uh, even though he is basically completely unfollowable, we always give one last stranger a chance. Pre selected by the Better Box team here, Anthony Engage. Uh, let's see our final comedian of the night. Looks like his name is Joshua Bergman. <laughs> Is Joshua Bergman. Hey, Kill Tony. How's it going? So, if I was British, my Tinder profile would be uh, My name is Wenzel, and I like to go for long wanks on the beach. So, it turns out those uh, people protesting 5G were right after all. 5G does transmit cancer because it transmits Twitter. So I lived in Japan for 10 years. I'm married to a Japanese lady. We got three kids. What can I say? The Japanese like it raw. 
How come we never got bidets over here? They got the fancy bidets in Japan. We need to we need to bring that over here. I think it's the marketing. Bidet sounds so French, so soft. Name it like the the pooper blaster. And so like crazy. All right, love you guys. There you go. A minute from Joshua Bergman. Hi Joshua, how are you, man? Good. How you doing? Good. Where are you uh, calling us from? I'm in Dayton, Ohio. Whoa, oh, Dayton, room. Ohio. Uh, I love Farm it. Farm insurance. That's right. The fifth best city in Ohio. <laughs> you born and raised there? I take it. No, I grew up in Virginia. Oh, upgrade. wow. The rare Dayton <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> My goodness. Hard to do. Uh, so, wow, you were like one of the wonderful whites of Virginia or whatever. Is that West Virginia? Yeah. Is that a thing? I like that. Your family like uh, make moonshine and things like that? No. Nah. Northern Virginia. Not the oh. country people. East Virginia. Let's see this Asian wife. She's sleeping. Oh. oh, even better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Frightening. Frightening. <laughs> Red Man is becoming more and more of doing old, creepy dad jokes. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. He's, he's definitely falling into his, uh, his ways. So you lived in Japan. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's great. What did you do in Japan? Just go to school? Or... It's sweet and sour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my dad was a contractor. That's how I went there. For a contractor for the government at one of the military bases there. And I just liked it there. So I stuck around. I worked at Pizza Hut for a while on a military base. Oh, yeah. And some then... fresh Japanese cuisine. Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's on the American military base. So Wow. There's that you nice know, strip. They got right that stuff out there for the American people. Man, Red Band um, was hard when you were talking about your sleeping Asian wife, but you said Pizza Hut, and he just came in his pants. <laughs> pizza Hut? Fuck Pizza Hut. Oh, he's anti-Pizza Hut. Oh. Um, that surprises me. Normally, you like a lot of those corporate chains. Uh, I like Domino's and Papa John's, same thing. <laughs> Every other corporate chain. <laughs> Domino's, Papa John's, Little Caesars, DiGiorno. Godfathers. <laughs> Fresh Brothers. Fresh Brothers is good. It's really good. They have those good sweet peppers. That's yeah. like their specialty, mm -hmm. I think. CC's. I love it. We love our pizza here at Kill Tony. Boy, oh boy. We pizza Street. We famously love pizza. Blaze, one of our favorite Blaze. date places. I live near a Blaze, and sometimes Jeremiah comes over, and I take us out for little fresh-made pizzas. Uh, get them fresh out of the oven. It's like Chipotle, but for pizza. I actually bought those uh, <laughs> deep dish Chicago pizza, that like famous deep dish. Uh, no, Maddie's. Yeah and got mm -hmm. three of those mm -hmm. i didn't know how good it was going to be man it is insanely good it's if you insane because oh, yeah, brian didn't come with yeah. us when we were in chicago right oh, <laughs> yeah that's right if we went during the day to anything then the answer is no yeah. it's fine i'll just get it shipped to my bank <laughs> <laughs> i love it so uh joshua tell us more what do you do now so now i work as a software engineer oh okay At any kind contracting. of contracting okay that's fun. Is this an office? Do you have your own office there in Dayton? No, this is the, the basement of my parents' house. Oh, okay. So your wife is yeah. staying with you at your parents' place? Yeah. Okay, so it's just the four of you, or is there more in the house? Uh, my parents, I, and we got three kids. <laughs> wow. Oh, you and your wife have three kids? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Uh, Asian-American children. Yep. Those have to be cute, uh, cute ass kids. Yeah, yeah, do they have uh, cute Asian names or are the names like Charles and Bob? <laughs> so it's it's Paul, James, and Silas. What was the last one? Super white names. It seems like there are a lot of uh, Pauls that are Asians. Do you find this to be oh, yeah. the truth? Yeah. Paul, I, Paul. Know. I know a lot of Asian Pauls. Pauls? Pauls. P-A-U-L? Yes. Yeah. I know huh. a lot. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, huh. interesting. Like what was the third name you said? Cyrus? Silas. Cyclist? Silas? Silas. Silas. Satellite? S Y L A S. Oh. Satellite? What was that? Was that, was that your wife's idea? 
<laughs> no, Wait, my idea. no, it would have been Cyrus what, if it what was made his wife's you, idea. What made you come up with? Uh, what made you come up with Silas as Scalopy? a name? I actually thought of the, the name. It's a character in League of Legends. Stylist. Stylist. Yes, stylist is the name. Are you a big gamer? Stylist. No, nothing. I'm trying to. Salvador is creating a segment over here. Stylist. He's still guessing names in the middle of a show that we moved on two minutes ago. Papyrus. Papyrus. Yes, that's That's the name. Final answer. Papyrus. You got it right, Salvador. (laughs) Salvador. Give attention to Salvador. Okay. Uh, Joshua, so what do you do for fun? How do you pass the time? I mean, you have three kids. When they're not keeping you busy, what else other than uh, League of Legends? Tell us something League fun. Of Legends, ab- and uh, I uh, try to make games. I do oh, some nice. programming. Oh, my goodness. You make games. Yeah. What kind of games uh, what kind, What kind? kind of games have you made? Uh, just trash games. Uh, oh. You know, tic-tac-toe. So working on it, gaming experience. <laughs> They're pretty oh. garbage, though. Heck yeah, I love that. Um, anything uh, crazy about your uh, in-laws? Was it is it crazy having real Japanese in-laws? Did you, did you have you ever visited their place and it was like a, you know, the set of Parasite or something like that? <laughs> that was Korean. Uh, I never saw the movie, but uh, nothing crazy. The no, famous Japanese film Japanese. Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, actually uh fans watching uh this episode right now streaming inside of virtual reality right now there's uh wow. there's a whole like movie theater like an imax movie theater and people are sitting virtually watching this while it's yeah. streaming right now that's cool. goodness wow look at that podiatrist yes it's <laughs> podiatrist is the third child's name podiatrist it's a character from league of legends and also <laughs> the baby was born a foot doctor uh, so Joshua, Bo Cyphers. Oh God! All right. Um, God damn it! What was I gonna say? Other than programming things and making games and things like that, uh, what do you? How do you play with your kids? Anything? Any fun games that you have to play with Japanese kids? Like, uh, yeah. you know, you ever you ever play in the bathtub and play a little game of Pearl Harbor, where they splash <laughs> the water in your face because you're the American? You ever play a game called Shower Duck? <laughs> Everyone knows about Shower Duck. <laughs> you have any parenting tips for us? Uh, nah. Just have fun. I love that. How old are your kids? Uh, the oldest just turned four. Uh, oh. the second one is three, and the younger one will be one in December. When you get angry, have you ever let a racial slur slip out on accident when you're yelling at them? <laughs> Yeah. No. You ever say, oh, Cyrus japped his pants. I mean, crapped his pants. <laughs> you got a nuke in his pants. God, you must have your hands full. Thank God for the parents helping you out there, though. Yeah, it's nice. No, they're, they're pretty easy. Yeah. Dim some crazy kids you have. <laughs> that is also Chinese. The cute little dumplings they have. I mean, dimples. <laughs> These Jap kids. <laughs> Anyway, um, so uh, that's fun. <laughs> Japanese kids, sleeping Asian wife. How long has she been sleeping for? Are you sure she's sleeping? <laughs> Are you sure she's sleeping yeah. or did she she's just been look sleeping like for she's about sleeping. an hour or two? I'm glad I, this hat also doubles. <laughs> look, oh, wow. DC hasn't got it's the Wicked Witch yet. of the West, everybody. Look at the hat and the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's like if Joe Exotic was a pilgrim. <laughs> when you add it down, you look pilgrimy. All right. Well, I love it, Joshua. I love it. Dayton, Ohio. You got three kids. Do your parents help a lot with them? Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. You ever catch your parents having sex? Do you think they're still banging? No. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's ask them. Are they? Are any of them awake right now? Nah, Maybe you'll catch them right it's now. One, it's one here. Ah, oh, damn it. He, pan, he pans in the corner. His father is just <laughs> masturbating vigorously. Gotcha! <laughs> Dad! You're so crazy. 
I love it. All right, Joshua. Well, thank you so much for calling in and chatting with us. You're the final comedian of the night here on Kill Tony. Hey, have you done stand-up before? Hold on, wait. Nope. <laughs> no? There's a, what is that, no. Go Bananas? No, there's yeah. a uh, improv. What, what's in date? Oh, funny Bone. Date and Funny Bone. Ah, that's yeah. right. I did that with Burt Kreischer back in the day. Yeah. Did they, Did the tornado uh, tear through any of, uh, like, your house or anything? There was a bad tornado uh, through was, Dayton. Yeah, it was, like, right right by us. Yeah, they tore down like that, that down. strip club we went to. The, the living room, rest in peace. That you went to. Or was that the yeah, only that night the, that I went? Yeah, that was the one we went. Oh, my God. Chick sat on my face. Disgusting. Absolutely vomitile. <laughs> was that with Haddish? Yeah. No. Uh, it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. There was, like, blood involved or something, right? No, it was no, a it was smell. It was, uh, it was a the smell. Next, the next day, we're, like, getting into the car, and I'm like, Tony, smell my lip. It still smelled. Yeah, and I almost threw up. Because <laughs> you did it. You smelled his lip? No. no, <laughs> the, we- no. the weird thing is his lip smelled like that before the strip <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a yeast exactly. infection. The stripper was going around going, smell my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like that guy. It smells like that guy's lips. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There goes Joshua Bergman, everybody. Right. Joshua Bergman is Joshua B3RG. And before we go... We get to check in with the great house artist, the one and the only Ryan J. E. Belt. Now, wow. look at that. That there is a good, good drawing here on Kill Tony. <laughs> Dude, I wish he would have drawn Joel as a joke, though, somewhere ridiculous. Oh, that would have been so funny. Oh, my goodness gracious. I love this. Jesse looks like a legend. Joel, absolutely. What is Ryan That's me. That's Red Band and the Cats. Who, is that Jeremiah in the front? Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's Sal- great, man. Oh, that's beautiful. The number one thing an artist loves to hear is, is that? <laughs> right. Well, he's wearing a luchador mask. So. What? No, that's Brian. No, is that's the Brian. Kitty. Right. You, you are the ghost. I got it. In the I front. got it. I got it now. I got it. Absolutely. And I, and I have the guitar. Yep. <laughs> and then yep. Joel is in the middle. Yep. Smoke's coming out of Tony's ears. That's true. <laughs> William, Michael Lair, David Lucas. I absolutely love it. Ryan J., how you doing? How you holding up during all this, man? Uh, I'm, I, I could stand to get out. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come hang one of these times? Come hang one of these Mondays. Come grab some pizza and chill in studio with us. Yeah. No, that sounds like a great idea. That'd Let's awesome. do it. Let's have a date. We'll have him and David Lucas in studio next Monday. Maybe we'll rota- start rotating people back into studio slowly but surely. Um, we're so grateful to BetterBox Studios, the great Gino, everybody here, Anthony Gage, for all their help continuously every week. It's unbelievable. Gino. Buy a candle at damngoodco.com. Buy a poster at RyanJEbelt.com. Buy the new Kill Tony shirt at RyanJEbelt.com. Buy an old poster or a road poster or anything. Get it framed. All these things look amazing. Look, it's on it's on our set. Those are straight from my uh straight from my walls in my own house here in Los Angeles. Brought some of my own like booty holes. Kill Tony art. Yeah, that's how you know it's from my place. The sweet smell of booty holes and dildos because I am so gay. <laughs> Such a gay man. So much stuff up my butt right now. I feel like I may have forgotten something up there. Is, that, is it me or is there a gerbil in my butt? Oh, there it is. There's the sweet, sweet sounds of a gerbil. Um, Ryan J., did you get to see Thea Thyssen's drawing of the band at all today? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on Joel's nose, sweet. <laughs> is it, I'm going to make, is him, it his, make him definitely more like ice cream. <laughs> is bad art as funny to you as it is for us or is it like a comedian watching bad comedy and you get grossed out <laughs> no I, you know as long as people having fun doing it they they can do whatever they want to do <laughs> i love it i like your style we actually just got word gages informed us that thea thyssen believe it or not has sent in another drawing are we going live over there right now <laughs> oh 
Wow, she really did that good. so fast. That is incredible. How did, How is that drawing better than the other drawings <laughs> of the band? I'll put my face on that. We literally made her a better artist here on Kill Tony. My butt crack goes all the way up my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. You have a very pronounced spinal column. That thing is like a. It looks like one. Is that Tower Two on 9/11? It looks like my body is a dick. <laughs> it does. Oh, there it is. Absolutely. I already have my new. Uh, I already. I, I already have my new background on my phone. This is my new uh, full-time background. Yeah. Absolutely. So this has been another episode of Kill Tony. Uh, fun stuff happening. We're still doing it. Vito's Pizza. No doubt about it. If you're getting pizza in the Los Angeles area, that's the only way to go. MyBookie.ag. They double your first deposit. Use the promo code Kill Tony. You spin you when you get paid. And ExpressVPN. I mean, seriously, this thing is a fucking game changer. You can go to Netflix, watch The Last Dance when it comes out. By switching to a global uh, location, you can do anything. German porn? Hey, I'm in Germany now. You want to watch anime? Go to Japan. Anything you're into. Yeah, and you and you'll be amazed when you look at the porn. There's some places, you know, we have tougher laws than other countries. Mm-hmm. So you can go to some of these countries and see some porn you're not really supposed to see. Yeah. Hello. Does the does the does the idea of a woman blowing you so hard that she vomits profusely entertain yep. you? Or poop Ex- stuff. Express VPN. Switch everything to Germany. Spoiler alert: the switch goes to Germany for all the crazy stuff. Dates coming up, supposedly. Miami, Austin, Houston, San Fran, Sacramento, Tacoma, Washington, D.C., Salt Lake City. Supposedly, these things are all happening. Supposedly, the curve is flattened from the latest projections I've seen in June or July here in California. So, things are moving along at a safe rate. So, let's just keep it moving here. The great leader of the band, Jeremiah Watkins, joined us here tonight. He's on Venmo at Jeremiah Watkins. You have a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders out. With Chappelle Lacey this week. With Chappelle. You know, that's all you need to know. He's he got Chappelle on his show. Yeah. <laughs> just to say that. <laughs> Chappelle did. Lacey. Uh, or maybe it's date. Who knows? I'm not even going to say who it might be, but it's Chappelle Lacey. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's Chappelle. I got Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeremiah Dash Watkins on Venmo, and uh, uh, I did this thing that this project uh, that I just released on YouTube uh, from Kill Tony and uh, mostly Kill Tony and some other shows. Uh, it's a hundred of my characters uh, that I've collected from over the years. I put it all in one video on, on my YouTube, which took a long time. I've so. been watching you do that uh, for years now. Years. I've been watching you uh, make a compilation of all the characters and. You know, what's wild about that is that you've done so many of the characters multiple times. You know what I mean? So there's all these memories with these characters from around the world and uh, so much fun. It's going Such to be great, great for you, like an in memoriam type video. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Uh, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez was here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He was on fire almost the whole time. Jolino, what, what's up? What else? Nothing. I love you guys. Let's fucking keep it moving. Stay positive. He's an official Ludwig artist. If you're into drums at all, you know the best brand in the world is Ludwig. Venmo Joel. He's drinking Clorox bleach. Yeah. <laughs> Joel Dash Jimenez. He is on social media mostly sorry. And uh, oh yeah, I lost a lot of followers from the thong picture. So if you could follow me back, I <laughs> promise not to, to to post any more thong photos. You think it was Kill Tony fans that unfollowed you? Absolutely. Oh, I saw a couple of people like unfollowed, absolutely. Unfollowed. I got I got multiple messages, and uh, uh, from my body being on Kevin's, uh, he lost four hundred in one hour. <laughs> oh my god! And uh, I ended up losing like several hundred over the span of a week because I left my picture up because. I'm a ride or die guy. Yeah, you're a ride or die guy, aka nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> the great Jesse Johnson, of course, the uh, amazing social worker, was here with us all night. An amazing job, as always, by you, the great Jetski Johnson. Brum, brum, brum. So it was, I've only been a social worker for an hour, but it was really hard. So just shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to all the essential social workers out there. Jesse is, of course, at 
Jetski Johnson, all one word. So follow her on everything Twitter, Instagram. Of course, Red Band. Uh, check out my virtual reality uh, show. It's uh, Virtual Red Band. It's on youtube.com slash Red Band. 30 episodes already, and a lot of Kill Tony fans, and we all just get together and we do Kill Tony shit, like watching Kill Tony right now. It's a lot of fun. And of course, Brothers in Cursive and Dead Air, DeathSquad.tv. Thanks, guys. There you go. We did it again. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. See you next week. <laughs>